Hello, hello, D class. Uh, we are here to uh, draw a bunch of stupid shit. Everyone ready? Like I'm already out of water. And because infinite time made it go for way too long, the time set to normal. All right, on we go. Yes. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm not getting autocorrect, so I'm assuming this is how I spell it. Uh, is someone got a prompt? <laughs> There's a the timer. I put mine in. Now I wonder who remembered what I wrote in. How the fuck do I draw this? I'm getting you got my incomplete one. Congratulations. No, it's a really long one. Oh. Then I'm sorry, Penguin. Well, the one I got seems pretty complete. Well, I'm able to complete mine, so. Maybe my definition of getting, or like getting things done, is not right. Uh, I am very sorry for my drawing. I feel like the timer timer is too uh, short. Well, it's on normal. Maybe we have infinite time, but like you have like a little timer to the side that's like five minutes. Most. Don't think you can do that. I mean, on Google, you can set up a little timer thing on Google. No, fuck. You have to turn off the damn bucket. Oh, well, I could. Figure out how to. I, I'm pretty sure there's a setting where it depends on when most majorities done. All right, I'm done, <laughs> and I'm very sorry for what I drew. <laughs> oh fuck! I didn't put okay. I can check after this. <laughs> yeah, I feel like the time is far too short. Well, it's on normal what we used to do. Well, I guess I'll fix it. Yeah. All right. All right. Or just set like a timer on your phone for like max no. time. So, I don't, I don't want to do that shit. <laughs> Glitch of normalcy. Oh. Oh, Jerry got it. Wait, what? 
That was how complete it Fence was. Fence cubes. <laughs> Fence cubes. Obviously, it was not complete. Right. You know what? I I'll, I'll just do infinite and put a timer, a timer on or something like. Yeah. Okay. That or we just do infinite and not care about the damn timer. I mean, it's only three of us. It's not like we have a bunch of people. Yeah. I, th I thought I was going to do Little German good, boy but... holding cola and a lollipop yelling the pee. Oh, no. <laughs> what the... Right! Happy Nazi with cola. <laughs> right, what the fuck? I forgot the German fly colors, and I didn't... It Why was too fast. you do that? <laughs> so Why is it? You were <laughs> just the German flag. I forgot the German flag. Right, colors. please, for the love of fuck, you are not streaming this right now. Uh, I'm not answering that question. Right! Uh, Mummy DJ getting right. A. <laughs> if you are, you better end stream, automatically delete that VOD and restart. Dirty Mummy uh, showing his grades. No, I'm keeping it at N. No! Why would you do that? Dirty. That mummy did a good job. Right? Why would you do that? I was talking except uh, the stains on their clothing. Why would the fuck would you draw that? Let's forget Bright ever drew that. Yeah. Oh, we're back to it. Oh. Bright. <laughs> Think fuck Why would it, you do that? All sound alert plays. Fuck, would you do that? No one got points. Alright, it's on infinite. Now we don't have to care about it. Now we can restart our things. Yippee. Also, please, for the love of fuck, look up what the German flag looks like next time. I will. <laughs> I'll redo my prompt. I think. Hopefully, Dragon does again, because I don't think they know who Glitch of Normalcy is. Uh, Google exists. No, it's my own character I created, Dragon. Google exists. This is not gonna be on there. I can obviously Google into your brain, dipshit. I don't think that's how it works. Right. Does Jiri remember who they are? No. All right. My there brain are is dead. There are being made out of glitches. They're humanoid shape, and they usually have like a double voice because they're technically two beings in one. So, yeah. Beep. 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 <laughs> hey, I just drew a German from a certain time period. Right, why the fuck would you think that that's a good idea? <laughs> Mine's easy. I'm done. <laughs> I have a feeling you got mine and decided to be particularly lazy. <laughs> no, I, I I did something funny with it. <laughs> I actually uh -huh. did... No, I actually did something really funny with it. <laughs> I should have made my mind something else. <laughs> Jerry, did you get mine again? I got mine's Pokemon related. Oh, that means Dragon's got the the glitchy uh mo uh being person. No. <laughs> well, it couldn't be me, Dragon, and it's not Cheery, so it's you. Well, the one I got is Cosmog refusing to go in the bag. <laughs> that's totally uh, not my prompt. I'm just not waiting. At all. I'm just waiting for a moment like yesterday where people just 
join the stream just to see if they can get in. I know it's going to happen again. You don't know that. I, I just have a feeling. Also, hello, bookworm. Uh, do you like my good art? It is a masterpiece. It is even better than the Mona Lisa. Sure. I totally don't. <laughs> bookworm says it looks nice. I mean, it can look nice, but not as good as the Mona Lisa. Hey. Not Vinky? Hey, Bookworm, would you like to see something even better? Oh, dear. I'm waiting for Bookworm's answer. Here's the Woodlands Creeper. He stares into your soul. <laughs> I still have the picture saved. The Beyond Stream. <laughs> That's really dumb looking. Oh, hello. Uh, you saw nothing, uh, sus. You saw nothing sus. I don't want to know. <laughs> Keep that shit to yourself. I don't know what you're talking about. I, I literally didn't say anything, but you know what? Keep that shit to yourself anyways. <laughs> oh wait, I didn't add I didn't add enough detail. Um I drew I drew an incomplete drawing. Uh Dragon's got the glitch of normalcy and Poke uh, and Cheery's got Pokemon. I almost say Pokemon's got Cheery. <laughs> I mean we don't we don't know <laughs> We don't know if Pika's broken down Jiri's door. <laughs> I don't think Pika has. Pika but, you is know. not allowed near my door. <laughs> what? Why isn't Pika allowed near your door? The same reason you were at my house. I'll be right back. Uh, hey, did you know? <laughs> no, wait, what the fuck did I find? Wait, wait. Uh, the f what's the uh, what's going on? <laughs> what the fuck? Look what I put in stream planning. What's uh? I just what? looked up Gartic Falls. Oh, we're playing Gartic Bones. Oh. Okay, give, give me like... Give me a little bit. I'm just waking up and using my phone to check what's going on. Yeah, you sound very tired. Uh... Just, uh, just waking. I'll, 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 I'll be back right, in I'm a back. sec. Oh, hey, Hatchet. Bye, Hatchet. Yeah, yeah, right. I, I'm just I'm just waking up. I'll I'll be back in a a couple minutes in right. on my on my computer. That's fine. All right, look what I put in stream planning. Oh Jesus! I just Christ, looked up Arctic phone. Why did why? <laughs> what? <laughs> why? Why? Why would why would someone do that? They don't like Pikachu. Why did why does his face turn into the troll face? Wait, I'm gonna at Pika. No. No. <laughs> no. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Yes, I can. Did you know in Pokemon? 
Did you know in Pokemon Sun, mm-hmm. an old man steals your rock? Wait, why are you talking about old men with rocks? He steals your rock. So you're saying there's a that's Pokemon cause... game where an old man steals from children? That makes sense. That's because everyone is still yeah, drawing at the moment. Sun. Everyone is still drawing. Uh, sus. Fun fact, uh, in The Sims 4, they are adding- Okay, so in The Sims 4, the babies are pretty much just items in-game. Uh, but in 2023, like, early on, they're gonna update it where, uh, babies- Babies can move! Babies can get out of the crib! Now, there have been, like, leaks or speculation that it's gonna be an infant stage, so it, th- it doesn't go with baby to toddler, it goes baby, infant, toddler. Either way, it's horrifying. And I, I pity every Sims 4 YouTuber that does the 100 baby challenge. What the fuck? Child, you don't have much of an attention span, do you? Or goldfish. I was humming a song because it was on a TikTok. But then I read what the TikTok says, and now I'm just disturbed. More drawing, less TikTok. <laughs> I'm guessing Jerry's the last one. Yeah. That's good. Uh, Pokemon says, or do both. Both is good. I I have improved my art. How do you feel about it, Pokemon? Spoon. Looks good. Before I was thinking it'd be hard to tell if that what was that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. Why are you talking about spoons? What? Spoon. Dragon. Um. We only allow forks in this house, not spoons. (gasps) How dare you! It, well, my microphone won't pick up me gasping, but I am, in fact, gasping. Sorry, but spoons are no longer allowed in this household. Get rid of them. But, but spoons! No. Right! Do you but have a buttload spoons. of spoons? I have spoons. zero spoons. You have every spoon. I don't know what you're talking about. I have no spoons. Spoons. Spoons are not on this household. Spoon. Only forks and knives. Spoon spoons. I will transform your forks into spoons. <laughs> Book of the there is no spoon. spoon. Spoon finity. Spoon finity. <laughs> then I counteract that with spoon ne- negative infinity. Say spoon infinity. I said spoon finity. How's that any different? It is definitely different. <laughs> Confused. Because it's not a 
infinity of spoon. It's spoon infinity. <laughs> Book from negative spoon infinity. Spoon. No. Boom. Forks and knives only. Fuck you. And maybe sporks. Only fuck you then would it go against sporks. <laughs> A spork is the best of both worlds. Can I eat sporks? Some are actually edible. <laughs> That's not what I was expecting. There's also edible forks and edible spoons. I mean, and I... edible knives. So you're saying that I can eat a plastic spork. Thank you. Thank you for that knowledge. No, I'm not. <laughs> uh... Women. Wait, what course says sure, so that means I can do it. Yay. Yes, I can eat Senior the spork. Do it. I can eat the plastic spork. Hey, no. Bray, do you have your phone near you? I need you to check TikTok. I don't think Jerry uses TikTok. No, no, you. I do, do not. you have your phone near you? I don't have TikTok on my phone. What? I... 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 Why? Because I choose not to, bitch. Typically don't use TikTok. It's very rarely I use TikTok. I mean, I meant to put, I usually put my extras on there, but now I have an extras channel, so I don't really do shit on it. Penguin.exe has stopped working. <laughs> it's been a long day, okay? You're not allowed to bully me. It's it's been a long so you, day. You were oh, through and it you were put through what is either an attempted school shooting or police trying to make it look like a school shooting. <laughs> either way, Jesus uh, Wonderful, you are precious. You are setting off Spood's sound alarm. Spood, would you like to make any other commentary? Okay. Spood is still in sound alarm mode. Is there anything you'd like to say to Penguin? That's not a word. Word. Oh, yeah. Speaking of lore, I need to make that phrase that I did in GTA a uh, sound alert. I forgot to do that. What gotta... sound alert? I forgot what the phrase was, but it was me, like, I think either... Yeah, it was me tossing grenades. And I forgot the phrase I said. But it was really fucking stupid that it fit my channel. <laughs> oh yeah, fire in the hole. Fire in the hole! <laughs> That's what it was. Fire in the hole! Demon, <laughs> no, why? No, no. Uh, that song lives rent. Not song. God damn it. Audio lives rent free in my head. No, why leak? No, why? Ah. Huh. Amazon stock has gone up. Walmart stock has gone up. Oh. Did NDX you know stock that... has gone up. BGI hey, Bright, stock has perfect... gone up. Right, did you Game know? GameStop stock has gone up. Right. <laughs> Best Buy stock has gone up. 
Did you? I, did you? Wait, know? Best Buy still exists? No, <laughs> I was just, I was just constantly thinking of companies that keep track of speaking. Best Buy, Best Buy still exists. Oh, there's only very few stores company. still open. Best Buy? Oh wait, no, I was thinking of Blockbuster. Yeah, dumbass. Yeah. So thinking of Blockbuster. Oh yeah, but Best Buy still does exist. Yeah, there's one near me. That's actually how I got my computer. Oh. Best Buy did go out of business, though. Oh, the one near you? Because as far as I know, they're still go doing good at where, where I'm at. No, I'm on the news that they reported that they were losing a lot of money and a lot of Best Buys had to be closed. Oh. That was like a few years ago. You said just a few years ago? Yippee. Bitch. Oh, hey, Hatchet. Jerry, how long is it taking you to draw this prompt? Long enough that it has made me realize that I am probably not in the best space to draw right now. Huh. Hey, Jerry, in October uh, 29th, Best Buy will be closing two more of its stores. What? In October 29th, Best Buy will be closing two of its stores. Oh. Okay. A note oh. that I need to write down is if if and when I get married, I need to give my wife a cat. A kitten it's... specifically. What? Since when was Penguin married? When, dumbass, when? I said when. The, 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 the child said yet. when the child gets married. Yeah. yeah, I'm not married yet. <laughs> I don't even have a girlfriend. That would literally be illegal. Yeah. Wait, no, you're in Florida. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, I don't I don't know. I don't know about those laws down there. Hey Hatch, are you watching? Yeah. Okay, you ready to see the prompts? Oh, by um... the way, Hatchet, do not go back on stream to see what bright Drew oh, no. for the Please prompt don't. of of a little German boy drinking cola and holding a lollipop. Oh dear God! What? He don't go okay. back on stream. Okay. He has to see it. You know he has to see it. I have I have I I have joined so I can see things from the game. Right. Glitch of normalcy. I mean, <laughs> that's, I mean, that technically counts. Angry glitch. Wow, Jerry actually got the point. <laughs> yeah, they got glitch. You mean, you're not technically wrong? They are incredibly made out of glitches, so you're not wrong. Also, I'm hearing the robo voice coming from someone's mic. Hello? 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 Hello. I'm guessing it was Jerry. Oh. Me? No, as Jerry in like the, 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 
the speaking like the the thing that's speaking th oh. for Gartic forms. Cosmog refusing to go into the bag. Oh yeah, it is from oh, Jerry's yeah, mic. Oh no, I used the wrong thing. Nebby won't get in the bag. I did Nebby. Damn it. I mean, technically that is another name for Cosmog. Yeah. Oh wait, I didn't download this. Please don't tell me you downloaded the German boy. Uh, I refuse to comment. Oh. Okay, so here here's the list of things to never ask. Never ask a man his salary, a woman her weight. Never ask Bright what she drew for my prompt of a little German boy holding a lollipop and a incomplete person. person. Oh, here you go, Jerry. <laughs> Dinner bone. <laughs> what? <laughs> it says I'm too lazy to complete the person. I, fu I, I fucked that up on purposely. 50% complete. I got no points. Before I hit proceed, I gotta do something. Oh no. Let's see. So it's roughly this one. Cut. Yep, it was this one. Here you go, Hatchet. Oh god, I'm not opening I... that. You should <laughs> open it. You should open it. I'm trying to eat my strips of 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 dinosaur flesh. Little German boy holding Coca Cola. Oh God damn it, Bright! <laughs> <laughs> I gotta remember the, the German flag. So you can you look it out. up. No, we had the timer on, so we were, it was like really fast. You um. could have still looked it up, dumbass. I will not have much time. Uh. Now I wonder if see if anyone can guess the character I, I, I. It's another one of the characters I made. Well, technically didn't make, but also made. It's complicated. Actually, I I really hope Jiri gets it though. It's a character they really like. Uh, I'm really surprised that that uh that hatchet didn't get the cat thing when you get married. I mean, I, I don't know. Because if I remember correctly, the cat thing is you give a kitten, or I, th I forget if it's a kitten or just a regular ass cat, but you give a kitten to your wife when you get married uh, with like like Norse stuff specifically because of Freya's connection to cats and the, the chariot being pulled by cats. So you give your wife the cat. Okay, that kind of makes sense. Yeah, you see, that's the thing. I don't a lot of my spirituality is more sourced from personal experience rather than uh, myth and understanding practice in antiquity. Mm -hmm. Like I obviously, I obviously pull from myth and and, and antiquity, but most of the time, like I I'm I'm more focused on my personal experience. What. Which one? There's multiple. What? Wait, Hatchet, did you get mine? Where has your name in it? No. Oh, okay. Uh, or Any of them. Orange one. Huh? Sunset one. What was that, Dragon? If I think... If I... I if I... If... Hatchet has the one that I think that Hatchet does. I it, it's the it's the sunset one. That's the most uh, famous one, 
and most of you okay, hold on. because what the fuck does this thing you. look like? Do we have a timer on right now? No. We took okay. that off because the timer was way too fast. Oh, this fucking mouse. You okay, Spoon? I love you, Spoon. Love you. you are the spoody, spoodiest food that spoon. You are wonderful in spood way. Man, oh. I am so tired and thirsty. <laughs> I can get water. If I get water, then I'll put everyone on hold. I didn't think this through. No, I love you. Why don't you? Why don't? Why don't? Could why you get me water? Oh, can I? I would love you, but I'll love you anyway. I don't love you. What am I listening to? Siblings. Oh. Arguing. I don't know what you're. I don't know what. The... I... Gosh, why did I make this thing look cross-eyed? Because you're a failure. Maybe. Or maybe you're just cross-eyed. You're a cross-eyed failure. Damn, that's kind of harsh. I have no idea what this being oh, looks just... like, so I'm just kind of... Gosh, this is horrifying. <laughs> What if I created? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I was at first. I was at first bookworm. I should have. Did you know orphans? You want to complete that thought there, child? Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Did you know orphans? That's incomplete. Fuck you. You don't deserve lungs. I've been told that several times. Probably primarily by me. Yep. Well, and by my grandparents, pretty much, because they refuse to wear masks now, even though uh, it has been told on the news that, yeah, COVID is most likely going to spike up again. They died and it's the most <sighs> stupid person in the world. No, because if they get sick, then I'll get sick. My statement And still also, stands. they're the only people that I have to take care of me. Right? Are you wishing death upon the child? <laughs> no. <laughs> Because I don't, I don't have anyone else to take care of me. CPS finally. No, yes. CPS is Lord as shit. I would not want to go there. I thought your parents were worse than CPS. I don't know, but grand and the thing is, it's grandparents because you know everyone else is kind of in jail. So my birth giver is supposedly getting out Monday. So well. Well, uh, well, welcome to Florida. Your your options are stay in hell or go to a slightly different hell. Yeah, not only that, if I go to uh, CPS, I get all my shit taken away, so. Okay, now how do I... This is such a weird prompt. At uh, least yours is not really an crazy. abomination. Everything you draw it is... An abomination. No, this is this is by far the most disturbing abomination I've ever drawn. You you say that every time you draw something. Okay, it's not as bad as the German one. I don't think anything can be as bad as the German boy. Maybe that addition. 
maybe that addition you did in uh cards against humanity Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> that. Oh sweet jeez, I actually made that a clip. Oh god. And I call. I think I call it bright getting canceled. That tracks. <laughs> yeah, child. So the 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 card that came up. I think I can tell you this because there's no actual technically inappropriate things here. It's just fucked up. Uh. Mm-hmm. Uh, the card that came up was one that I put into my deck, which is uh, blank plus blank equals blank. So you're doing mm -hmm. weird ass math. Bright's response was the SCP that's just a clone of Hitler plus the not like the angry Nazi robot that can be shut shut down with light. Equals a picture of Auschwitz. What the fuck? Yeah. Right, right. I feel problems. like okay. Oh uh, yeah, I have an idea. Instead of uh, instead of taking my lungs, we take Bright's brain because apparently she isn't using it anyways. It, it, hey, the addition served well. It was fucked up, but it actually. Makes sense. It does make sense, I mean, but it, you don't deserve to take any credit for it. I hate when people go, oh, I'm not such and such, but, and then do the such and such thing. No, fuck. I'm not racist, but... Okay, you want to continue go. that sentence? They, they, they say like the most. Mine's done, shit and I am very it. sorry for this abomination. I'm not I racist, like not. but I'm not racist, but ice must be abolished. What? I was subverting it. Yeah. I said I'm not racist, but ice must be abolished. I agree. Bookworm says it doesn't look that bad. I think mine is adorable. Uh, mine looks terrifyingly stupid. Right. Must I tap on the sign again? Just needs some more drawing practice, says me who can't draw. I mean... I, I feel like I should tap on the sign again. Shush. The sign. The sign. Sign of idiocy. No, no, no. I'm tapping on the sign that goes, everything you say you draw is horrifying. <laughs> what? Everything Bright draws, she says, is horrifying. So it, it, I might as well make a sign out of it. Also, the Yoki I, for I forgot to say this. I'll I'll have you all know that uh yeah. that I made a great sacrifice to come here sooner. Okay. Uh I I I would normally have gone in and said hello to my little baby Fenrir, but I did not because I was in a hurry. While we're waiting, go say hi to Fenrir. Go I'm still say drawing. hi to your fur baby right now. I'm Go still I'm right still now. drawing and I have food. I finished my drawing. But while I'm waiting, I'm gonna go get something to drink. I'm going to go put underwear on and get a water. Wait, what? Everyone is leaving. Wait. Fine. Uh, Hatchet, you take over the stream. I'm leaving too. You know what? I don't want to know. I just. Because. Oh. Gave me the chemical burn with the drippy, drippy rash. 
Also, apparently, medical tape can give me a horrible rash, but my arm doesn't care if I pull a stinger out of it. All right, I'm back. Well, then I, I, I guess everyone let me know when y'all are back so that I can click done. Uh, I am back. I want to get water. Hydration. You don't deserve water. All right, then. Since he said that, don't hydrate. Dihydrate. Brian, don't be a jackass. <laughs> <laughs> and book for immediately redeemed hydrate. <laughs> All right, eh. <laughs> now you must. Now Bright must dehydrate. <laughs> I just Where did, and it <laughs> switched law. I need to pee. You need to pee. You know what? I don't want to stare at my abomination anymore. Ah, that's much better. Hello, Woodlands Creeper. You're you're still staring at your abomination. Hey. <laughs> Am I wrong? Oh yeah, I never did post the 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 new one that I created today. Guess I gotta dump post and post them while I'm waiting. Stream's not seeing Discord. Okay, good. How long are you planning to stream tonight? Same as yesterday. Till uh, 12? Yeah. Nice job. It, it 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 has a bad name, but I remember in elementary school, I called this thing sw the Swamp Peeper. Bruh. <laughs> it's because it would peep out of the water. No, it's a herbivore, so it's harmless. Something being a herbivore does not mean that it's harmless. <laughs> Have you heard of elephants? Well, they're about, like, half a foot tall, so <laughs> I think you can punt it. Well, that's good. <laughs> I will punt your creation. But if I remember correctly, they... Apparently fond of humans and are kind of like uh 131 in a way. Bro, is that an eye on its dick? No. What's going on here? That's that's its filter hole. Where it filters algae. What the fuck are you talking about? I don't know. <laughs> it's a Press filter. enter. I already oh. Everyone's here. Press enter. Wait, is the child here? No. Okay. Oh. I, guess I think not. I'll make modifications then. I will make a better lullaby. Oh, yes. Jerry got it. For once, Gartic Phone gave my prompt to the right person. Yeah. Yeah, but that's a, that's a filter thing. That, it, it, that's where it filters shit, algae for food. Oh, I'm just doing my own shit for them since they don't have a real form. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Basically, an artistic representation of the blue blob before they took a form. Yeah. Well, to be honest, Lullaby can transform into anything, so. A body shift. Well, yeah. So, <laughs> you can literally do anything.
kink you for someone genderless. I'm going to ignore that. <laughs> My dinosaur flesh has gotten cold. So are you saying, Hatchet, you wouldn't like this to have for a pet, like 131? What's 131? The iPods. Oh. Um, I would not want the iPods as a pet. What about this the creature I created? I probably wouldn't want it as a pet either, but primarily because I don't have the means to properly take care of it. Fair. Like, I, I would really like to have a slippery dick rass right now, but I don't have the means to take care of a slippery dick rass. Slippery dick rass. Yeah, slippery dick rats. I don't know what it is. What'd you say? They don't I'm know what it, what it is. Oh, um, is it's it? a a it's a pretty it's it's a reasonably uh pretty uh species of saltwater fish that uh, uh got got the name of slippery dick rats. Because apparently when people were first catching it, they they were trying to decide on a name, and as they were holding them, they kept slipping out of their hands. So a bunch of frustrated people just started calling it the Slippery Dick. <laughs> and I want one specifically so that I can someday deadass tell people that I have a pet <laughs> Slippery Dick. Reminds me of why my favorite uh, shark has its name. What was your favorite shark? The uh, blind shark. Blind shark, yeah. Then if Pokemon says, then you can send safe for work dick pics. <laughs> 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 yeah, I can actually send I can send people I can send people pictures of my slippery dick and say, "Hey, here's a here's a safe for work dick pic." That reminds me of what I did a lot when I was in in a stall at school. I would just tell the person next to me, "Hey, would you like to see a picture of my cock?" Oh and god, damn it. And just slide a picture of a chicken. <laughs> if it's a chicken that it's not even know. right. Oh wait, it wasn't no, it was a roos rooster. That's right, it was rooster. I was about to say you're 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 failing at your own joke. Chickens but yeah. are technically, I mean, roosters are technically chickens. You just have to say it was specifically a male chicken. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I know it was a male chicken picture, but yeah, I pushed it over, and they would always get so mad. There was one person who tore tore it in half. I don't know why. Sorry, I mean to your dick. <laughs> Sorry, I mean to your dick. <laughs> Dragon's gonna come back one wondering why the fuck we're talking about penises. But blind shark is a shark that isn't endangered because nobody likes how it tastes. Its fins aren't big enough for anyone to care, and it's basically too much of an asshole to keep in uh, in captivity. Hmm. That's interesting. I I've like I go back and forth on whether or not certain sharks should be in aquariums. Like it's interesting. Yeah, like aquarium built for aquariums since they eat fish and aquariums hold fish. They're not as smart as uh, octopi who like will just eat eat the fish that the people want them to because they'll know. When, well, some are assholes and know and still do it, but 
in general, they know when they're not supposed to eat something. Sharks don't. They just eat it anyway. Now, Oh, well, yeah, the but... Oh, sorry. The majority of sharks eat fish. Yeah. The way that aquariums handle it is by basically perfectly balancing the ecosystem so that the sharks remain non-hungry so they don't end up deciding to hunt the fish in their enclosure with them. Yeah. The issue with that is a lot of times they still hunt anyway. Yeah, because like it's a very delicate balance. If like if you mess up slightly, the shark will start eating the fish. Yeah. The other fish. Seven. Also, of uh, before we continue, uh, I decided to force Bookworm to look at the swamp swampland peeper. Uh, the swamp peeper. Sorry, not swampland. Swamp peeper. Seven. What do you mean seven? Seven. Press. All right, everyone hit done. Apparently, dragon's here. Uh, I'm guessing you got mine, Hatchet. No, I think I got what Jerry was working on. Uh, How do I even spell this? You know... Everyone says, like, oh, it sucks being the therapy friend. Imagine being the therapy friend, but it's just your parents that are the people that are the ones that are constantly venting about shit. Not good! Damn. Yeah. Like, the, the only reason it took me so long is because I was on the phone with my birth giver, and she was going on and on. I don't know what went through her brain, but she thought it was a good idea to go, like, on a phone that is monitored and recorded, going, Oh, why did you bring us a gun to school? Wait, what? <laughs> Uh... Penguin, you don't have the sharpest mom in the shed. Yeah, if you get Shrek. I feel like... I didn't understand what you said. What'd you say? Penguin? Uh, I said my birth giver on the the jail phone that is recorded and monitored, decided to say, why did you bring a gun to school? Right after the lockdown that happened at my school because the there was a gun in the bathroom. Fuck. Remember everyone, she's probably on a number of drugs. He's in jail and has been for actual months. Yeah. Also, she's too much of a pussy there. to do drugs. Oh, too much of a pussy to do them there? Okay. I mean, she's done it in the past. That's why I am the way that I am, but... <laughs> All right, uh, mine and is fantastic. And she has fantastic. a hole in her nose. Mine is fantastic. Who is Lullaby from? It's one of my characters. It, oh. They're basically just a being of pure light. And they can be any gender or any being, basically. Who is Lullaby from? Well, technically... That is a statement. Wait, hold on. Actually, the character of Lullaby was... The, where my voice came from for that character came from the Sandman game. When I, when yeah. I streamed that. And they were being of pure light, so have fun with that. <laughs> they originally came from the Sandman game, and Bright kind of made them their own thing. Yeah. I like what Bright did with it. What? 
Some people should not be parents. Me? Yeah. No, some people. <laughs> right, you aren't people. Wow. Yeah, you're a bird. Fuck exactly. You. Wait, does that mean that I can't even take care of children because birds push the kids out of the nest? Bitch, you're nice. like you're like seven years late to that party. <laughs> <laughs> There, there was never a nest. I guess that's 16 years, too. Like, almost 17. There was never a nest. Out. There was never a nest. There was only the hard concrete below. <laughs> oh my god. Bright would probably just take Penguin in their nest and put them there. Yeah, Bright would do the reverse. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, not only that, my birth giver also decided to make a, for whatever fucking reason, a transphobic joke question mark because of the shooting thing. What? Yeah. Wait. Uh, I, 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 I love, don't know. I, I love what the book from said. Reverse cuckoo. Or cuckoo. Or I think it's, it's are called cuckoo. Like the birds that push the eggs out of the nest and put their own in. A few birds do that, actually. They're all assholes, but... Oh, yeah. Yeah, the one in, in my state that's doing it is invasive. Which means you're free to shoot them. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna... I'm gonna make this one look like Garfield. Oh. It seems that you have acquired whatever bastardization version of my prompt has come. <laughs> Your prompt. The yeah, the one that I put in at the start. I was gonna ask I, I was asking what it was originally. Oh, well you'll see in a minute. I don't even remember fully. All I know is it had to do with Festus. Oh. Oh, uh, this fucking mouse. And I'm not even talking about the the character I'm drawing either. <laughs> oh, Pika like that. <laughs> Actually, I wonder how Pika's doing seeing as Splatoon 3 is, like, the servers are down. Probably not well, I'm assuming. Actually, I need to ask my friend, because, uh, they also like Splatoon 3, but, like, in the less, oh, it's cool and more in the autistic way. Actually, but I feel like Pika, maybe, them both like it in the autistic way. Is Pika autistic? The fuck dragon? I don't know. I'm asking, do we know? Has Pika- I don't- I don't think- that is- I don't know. Yeah. That isn't a- I, that's a question I should ask him. I, I don't think that's anyone's business, honestly. Yeah. Fair point. Fair point, yeah. Jesus, this looks more like a hamburger than lasagna. What did you do to Festus? <laughs> don't worry about it. What are you doing to my boy?
Who the fuck is clicking done over and over again? Not me. Try <laughs> Gwen. Fucking piece of shit, child. <laughs> All right, now I'm done. <laughs> A cat who hates Mondays and loves lasagna. Fessa has become a new cat. A cat who hates Mondays and loves lasagna. Yes. Did yep. you know Garfield in the comics has a boyfriend that loves Mondays and hates lasagna? What the hell are you talking about? I, I thought Garfield was a boy cat with a girlfriend. Yeah. Are you retconning Garfield? Yeah, Garfield has a girlfriend. <laughs> That's the pink cat. I forgot her name. Also, maybe the, maybe Garfield is bisexual. I made up the boy cat out of my ass, but Garfield could be bisexual. Like to a lot of the internet, to a lot of the internet, he is a trans icon. What? What? <laughs> Have you not? Have you not seen the anthro anthro Garfield uh, trans woman fan art? Child, yes. child. There's no correlation between gender and sexuality. Yeah, I I know. But also, none of the words that I said there have been in a lot of things. That's anyway. I'm 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 done. So and it's who's, just who's still working. I believe in you, Jerry. In the meantime, oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to put the the swamp, the swamp peeper again on the screen. Swoop. Swamp. Right. Three, two, one. No. Lullaby. Also, a voice oh, hatchet hates, hates to hear, to hear sometimes. sometimes. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, that actually looks nice. Oh, that's cool. Lullaby. Oh god damn it, because you added that, we didn't get points. Because you randomly added the also voice hatchet hates to hear sometime. Both Jiri and I did a great job. But we still didn't get points because you're a dick face. Even Tyler did a good job. Yeah. You all did a good job. Also, uh, yeah. I have to do it because Brooklyn redeemed it. No. Oh. Ara, Ara. There you go, oh, Ara, Ara. Okay. What did you think it was gonna be? Has the danger passed? Yes. Good. Hey, it, it the lesbian redeemed flag it. as the ocean. Yeah, that was mine. Ah. Oh. <laughs> lesbian <laughs> beach. Lesbian beach. <laughs> Aww. Aww. That's adorable. That's adorable. Welcome to said Law, I had to because Lullaby was, was here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> right, you eating donut. Oh no, this was mine. <laughs> it, it must have been a donut. Chew's brother is a fat bastard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sending this to Pika. You have to. I gave him the physique of a bowling ball. <laughs> no, because he has the three holes and everything. Also, Brooklyn says, now you are safe. I don't have enough points anymore. So you don't have to worry about the RR for a while. Wonderful. Fest is attempting to bowl. Oh no, this is the last one I got. <laughs> Aww. Angry orange cat in a bowl. <gasps> you sack of shit. How how dare how dare you retcon my Festus? 
Also, no. Festus does not like lasagna. <laughs> Have you actually tried? Maybe. Why? Why would you? Why would you give your cat the something? cat? Every cat tries to try your food at least once. Yeah. Fair. Yeah, and I'm surrounded by like we uh, now with Fenrir. We now actually have a dozen cats that we own. Yeah, everyone's yeah. in first place, guys. Jerry and I would be further ahead if you hadn't been a dick face. I the agree. Fog is coming. The fog is coming. The fog is coming. The fog is coming. Even Penguin would have been a little further ahead. At the very least, in our hearts. The la the last drawing without someone to guess at the end doesn't get a point, unfortunately. Oh. Because the 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 thing does not judge, like actually look at your image and decide if that is accurate. It only bases it upon how well the next person can guess the prompt. All right, I didn't do anything parentheses this time. Oh, speaking of Festus, <laughs> hey buddy, <laughs> Festus, I, I would like hate me. Festus, Jerry's I need you me. for an interview. Do you like lasagna, Festus? The world needs to know. Festus declines to comment. Who's my big boy? Okay, I have a question. Do any of y'all, because I know, I know, I know, uh, Bright has a dog, <clears throat> I think. I don't know. But any of y'all, when you have your pets, like, you just do, like, the, you, you pat their sides, but, like, but not in, like, the, like, the soft way, but it's kind of like that, like, a bop, bop, bop. But it doesn't hurt them, it's what just kind of... What are you kinda... talking about? Yeah, there's, most of my cats actually really love that. You don't know about the bop, bop, bop? No. I know about booping a dog's nose, but I don't no, know No, 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 like, that. it's, it's kind of like a slap, but it's not hurting the dog. No! No, it's like I slapping the dog's side, but without, like, dog. hurding them. Oh, so once, patting the dog's side, yes. I've any dog I ever had, and they would have hated me if I did that. I... That is a rude thing to do. Well, I mean, it's not like slapping. It's like like the, it's you don't. It's hurt literally that. just it. It's slapping, but it's light and it's on their side. Yeah. It. it it's maybe it, instead it, of it's slapping, treating them like padding. a fragile drum. Let's say patting yeah. instead of slapping. So that would make more. That's what I do. I pat the dogs on the side. It's a hard pat. Yeah. I'm there doing it to Festus now, and he is happy. <laughs> I don't know what to write as my prompt. Festus, Wait, give me ideas. Festus X Hatchet fan fiction. What the fuck? <laughs> hey, Bright, I hope you know that you do not have to speak your intrusive thoughts into the world. I'm I hope sorry. you know that. <laughs> But it's just wholesome and No, wait, no, Hatchet, what the fuck? Pick. You scared off Hatchet. Wait, did I actually scare off Hatchet? Yes! What the fuck? I have, I have officially scared away Hatchet. Can, are you going to apologize? I already did. Okay. I mean, they can't hear me in voice chat, Dragon. I know. In the meantime... What the fuck? Pika, what the... No, look what put, Pika put. Can of full sick mouse arches. Who the fuck is Abel? 
One moment. An SCP, SCP zero seven six. Oh yeah. Two. You know, I know it's, I know it's not, I know it's not what I'm going to make it, but that's not. Okay, fine. I am making it the SCP fuck. I don't want to make I don't want to make gay fan fiction not fan fiction fuck gay fan art of Jiri and Abel. Yeah. Yeah, Twitch be oh. like that sometimes, bookworm. Right. What? <laughs> what? Did you weird prop? Maybe. Bad. You know, since I'm forced to draw this cursed shit, I'm making it as cursed as possible. Don't, 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 don't draw it. What? Why? I don't actually have a good reference for Jerry. <laughs> so I'm just drawing Look, a snake. You could do their wig. profile picture. Fair point. I'm just going to do a snake with an orange wig. Remember black. I, I know. And you can like... I don't know. Pick the color. Wait, no, that wasn't right. Three eyes. Black. You can be as lazy as you want with it. Make a black line. I can't believe I'm drawing gay fan art from one of my friend's uh, meme gay templates. Hello, Aderna. Aderna, we're in the middle of the thing now. She has left. Uh, they'll be back. She has left the building. Whee! Can we have Jerry as an announcer? No! Yes. Uh, who wants to snake as an announcer? Do. Lizard fights. Why would the snake want to announce <laughs> fights of other reptilians? Why do uh, humans want to announce fights of other reptilians? I need to remember to send this to my friend because it is their template that they made. And the thing is, they'll have no context. Gardic phone. Yeah. Really, Bookworm? Why? We're not playing Phasmophobia or any horror games. Yeah. Is Hatch okay? Uh, Bright I, decided to say some weird fucking shit. I have. I already apologized. Right. I, I already apologized to it. I think they just need some time. Right. Mm -hmm. Next time, don't say the weird shit. All right. 
Ah, that's fair, Bookworm. I just know that like Adam. <laughs> there we go. Much better. My beautiful child is on the screen. They're beautiful and amazing, with their four eyes. And no one can say otherwise. But I feel like your beautiful child is going to be the most horrifying thing we have ever fucking laid our eyes upon. Yeah. I didn't know I you were horrifying. Huh? <laughs> 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 the face only mother can love. <laughs> Look, we said we can say otherwise. Okay, I will stretch, Donna. Just we not want to. <laughs> you know what? The things that I planned to do today uh, was not to draw what I am drawing currently. Oh, I'm I sorry. It. I was kind of hoping Jerry would get it. My dogs. What the <laughs> fuck, right? I mean, they would enjoy it. No! <laughs> you don't even know what it is. Single, too. I don't do fan fiction art. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Hatchet wants to get coffee. Oh, okay. Oh, there's two of us now. I don't know. Ah, uh, we have three people watching, and they're all staring at the, the swamp peeper. Oh yeah, as you couldn't tell, Adarna, I recreated one of the cryptids I created in the past again. And it's the Swamp Peeper. I would like to ab apologize in uh, advance, Jerry, for what you have well, yeah. to see. Good for your age, all I can say is it would be bad no matter who did it, or no matter how skilled. Yeah. Also, also, don't know about it, uh, it is half a foot tall, eats algae, and, uh, like, 131 likes to be around humans. They're basically like cats oh, that live in swamps. Also, rest in peace, Inkling. Pieces, I guess. Oh, no. <laughs> Penguin, was that your prompt? Yeah, probably, because Penguin loves, uh, unless, unless, unless Pika, like, like, forced, unless Pika used his powers <laughs> <laughs> to make it. Well, I'm guessing we're just waiting on Hatchet. Sure. Hatchet. Oh, it's just you. There's... I have to make this shit detailed. 
<laughs> you have to make it super detailed, and the next person to see it is cheered. <laughs> Probably, actually. That would actually be pretty cool. either going to be Cheery or Hatch. Yeah. Uh... And... Okay, done. <laughs> <All right. laughs> it's Cheery. <laughs> Cheery, was it you? <laughs> <laughs> it was you, wasn't it, Cheery? Yeah. yeah it was My character! Cheery. <laughs> How fucked up did I did I did I do with the character? <laughs> oh. Sorry. Sorry, bookworm, I forgot to turn it off. Sw no, the swamp peeper, not creeper. <laughs> the peeper. They peepin'. <laughs> So, Jiri ranking? <laughs> yeah. The SCP able. <laughs> oh, okay, so that must have been Hatches. Um... Also, you drew my character as a snake? Yes. <laughs> no, uh... I think those are characters that we're supposed to go together. I'm pretty sure I wrote uh, Abel going out with Jerry. Well, Penguin drew Abel making out with Dr. Redler, the character. <laughs> Not Jerry, the person. I have been saved by Penguin. Well, I don't know what you look like, so. I told you, Black Snake. Oh. Like, like their profile pic. I just like want their like pick. their actual like profile pic, like not the ones they have in the server. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I can put it in dumb posts again, but yeah, oh, black I, I think, snake, yeah. black black, not like my brown character who's brown. You know what? That's around hatch out.
Hey, Patch, welcome back. What the fuck? Who the fuck is Wa Wagashi and Umeshu? I don't uh, know his mom. Okay, so okay, so so okay, so now I know who that one was. Okay, who's that prompt was? Wait, is it, oh, Hatch, okay. are you fully back? Are you, you all right? Yeah, I'm. I'm sorry for what I said. You're, you're good. Right. Also, what the fuck is this prompt? <laughs> oh, it's a type of food. All right, well. Yeah, I got that weird ass prompt, and I literally just. Actually, you know what? I'll wait to say it until. The actual thing. Is it? Is. Okay, I think I. I think. Oh, it's a drink, and it's a food. Okay. I can draw that. Uh, let me draw the table. How many inkling legs do they have? Uh, inklings have two legs. They have... In squid four, form. Uh, eight... None? Or tentacles. Uh, they have two big ones, and then there's four in between, because they have six. Octolings have four. Inklings, okay. This is bad. Why? Why did someone? Why did someone make this? Oh, is it has anything like to do with Abel? Yes. Sorry. <laughs> that was mine. That's bright. That's bright. And yeah. I originally wrote it as uh, Abel going out with Jerry. <laughs> well, it's turned into making it. <laughs> Oh, we know. Oh, yeah, we know. How the fuck do I draw this? Follow your dreams. Oh, you're My dreams up. are to not have to draw this. Well, get fucked, loser. Oh, my God, this fucking mouse is going to give me a brain aneurysm. Can I just well, draw a, a line? Aneurysm on stream. Just because you said that, I'm going to have a brain aneurysm on stream. <laughs> you just speedrun a brain aneurysm. Speedrunning, bitches. I have no idea what Abel's hair looks like, so I'm giving uh, him, it like... Is it, it is... I'm giving, uh, him, I'm giving him black Super Saiyan hair. Don't question You it. are actually not far off. Yeah, you're actually kind of close. He is a gray-skinned Vegeta. Again, kind of close. Yeah, you're, <laughs> you're kind of close. He also has a <laughs> bunch of he also has a bunch of weird symbols on him. Oh, I'm only doing the head. I'm not trying. I'm not putting in enough effort to do a full body. Ah, uh, okay. Anyone knows Jerry's character's skin tone? I based it off of the, uh... He said he was a black snake, so... Yeah. Uh, you can look at the, uh... You can look at their, like, uh, profile, like, their actual profile. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. And, like, see it. It's, uh, not, not the, like, server's one, but, like, that. Yeah. Yeah. How do I... I just realized that this could come dangerously close to looking like a racist character. That's why I based it off of Jerry's uh, server profile picture. I mean, also because of the fact that it's a 
a character like Fury more like writes about and not is like base their profile picture on. Uh, no one sees anything. Of what I have we wrote. don't. And now no one can see anything, but I saw it. No, you did not. You did not see what it said. I'm on the stream. I don't know what you're talking about. I need gaslight a Derna, Jesus. Because <laughs> you're not even good. Oh, here, 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 here. Here, yeah, there we go. There, I'm I'm banging my head against the wall. There, watch it. It's a bit better. <laughs> My chat is just filled with emojis. Oh, yeah, understand. Understand, wall. Yeah. Book. Any new people who join the chat will just see just being bombarded with emojis. Oh, yeah. No, no, it's, it's being bombarded by emojis, and it's, I love it. <laughs> Awesome. Yeah, I, I, I decided to take a break. I went and got coffee, and I went and said hi to Fenrir. Right. Yeah. Yes, you did what we told you at the beginning. You said hi to Fenrir. Oh, yeah. No. You have to say hi to Fenrir every day, whether you like it or not. Oh, yeah, and Hatch. Hatch. Hmm? She got new, uh, she got new emo. Oh, Chu got a new emote? Mm -hmm. What's it look like? Look, look in the chat. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> Wait, <Choo> why? <laughs> Wait a minute. Why is there a why is there a head banging Deku? <laughs> that was that was that was me banging my head against the wall. That that's when there's like some oh yeah and then if you didn't notice there's like also Natsuko Natsuko uh Natsuko running. I say that though I also I I haven't watched uh Demon Slayer so I don't know much about that character. Brilliant. I've never answer, I haven't they watched are any the best Demon Slayer child. Well I guess I guess except for content I can't talk about. Oh yeah, I know what Nesico is. You don't. You know who Nesico is? Yeah. Well, yeah. of course you do. Nesico, like, you you've been in Little Surfer. You like you're you're not even you're not even just in Little no, Surfer. Like you're before, like a fucking before, mod. Before I met Lilith, I knew who Nesico was. I knew who Nesico was. I just never oh, watched okay. the anime. Watch it. No. You watch can't it? force me I... to watch shit. I, I'm, I'm in the middle of re-watching that time I got reincarnated as a slime. It's like one of my favorite animes. It's really funny. Watch it. Here. Also, even though the, the manga is... Is... Another watch direction it? entirely. The manga? I thought... No. I, I thought it was based on a light novel. Oh, wasn't it a light novel? I I know, yeah. There, I know there's a manga of it. So, I'm gonna need to find one that'll be the best. Hold on, I'm looking this up because I, I I saw people talking about the manga of that kind of incarnate as a sign. Unless people were just making shit up. If so, that's gonna piss me off. Did Jerry go somewhere? Yeah, Jerry went to like go like change, I think. Uh, oh yeah, put on some boxes and hydrate. I'm just I'm just making random markings on Abel's face to simulate tattoos. Yeah, there's manga of that time I got reincarnated as a slime. I know I know there is manga, but I think it's like yeah, based off the light novel. Yeah. yeah. However, in the manga, he has a really serious-looking face most of the time. 
it's not like the the really happiest version in anime. Mm. Interesting. Right. I am back. You, you, right. You may or may not. What? Be forced. Oh, I was I was gonna say, right. You may or not may not be forced to watch. Demon Slayer at gunpoint. Good luck. <laughs> you know, there's there's a there's an old joke I made in high school where like uh someone like in the middle of class jokingly uh like completely joking, like it like it was all in good fun, jokingly oh, yeah. said that they were going to try to shoot me. And then my response in the middle of class in front of everyone was that I am actually bulletproof because like six inches of my fat is actually Kevlar. Oh my god. I I I am part Kevlar. Um, I'm part, I, I have to go well, take okay. a shit. One moment. Holy shit. What the fuck? Thanks, Thanks for the information, child. What the fuck? How do I, I download something from Twitter? I I am part twig. You're part what? Holy shit! Twig. No, the person I hire to finish my um. Shit! What's what are they called? Uh, but but new designs for intermission, starting gameplay scene, my scene stuff. They finished. Yeah. Huh? They're done. Oh, Sweet. that's awesome! Yeah, well, I have to pay the two hundred fifty. So, yeah, but, but so that's... next, so next uh, stream, you're gonna have that. Okay. Maybe I, I still, I mean, I got work tomorrow. You still have so to like. I... Oh yeah, well, I said next stream, not like next, not like tomorrow. Oh, shit, I said next stream. No. Damn it, sound. Damn it, I can't. Like. Oh what? Okay, so hold on. Okay, uh, hold on. Let me just. What, what finish... happened? All right. I can't download it and show it, but uh, go to my screen. Oh my! Oh my God! Ooh. I love those. Holy shit! Holy shit. Yeah, um. Oh, shit. Um, right, 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 uh, right, right, right. Twitter. Right. Uh, uh, Twitter. I see that. I got. I can't exit because I can't see my damn mouse. Quickly, screenshot. We have. We have to. We we have to use this to expose bright on the internet. They can't see on Twitter. Uh, ex expose. Expose her like her like conversations with <laughs> they can't see on Twitch, you son of a bitch. Yeah, I okay, don't know. No. Yeah, group. yeah, I know. I, I made I made sure they couldn't see. Yeah, like but, after yeah, that but happened. that's that's gonna be my new shit. Yeah, I'm gonna message them that. That, that looks amazing. That that looks so much better than your <laughs> what you're using now. <laughs> Thank God, we're finally going to be rid of the. Whatever the fuck that intermission is. Oh no no no! She's probably still gonna use it to just to mess with you. I'm pretty. Who to use that? Doesn't mean we'll send that gift to Hatchet randomly. Oh my god! There really is gonna come a time where I just stop opening your DMs. <laughs> that would be a valid time. That would be a balance. <laughs> Let's just hope the child gets back soon. Is Wait, was Jerry? Gone? Was Jerry here? Uh, when yeah, I he went using the restroom. Was Jerry Jerry's gone? back? Yeah. Uh, wait, you, so did I see you, it? Can you hear him? Can you hear him? No, I didn't hear him say anything when I showed it. Yes. He's speak. He was literally speaking like. You 10 hear seconds me, ago. you little shit. Yeah, I can hear you now. But what did you think of it? 
I did not see it. I was that's, drawn fastest. That's what I asked. Did Jerry see it? I did not see it, but I draw fastest. All right. So that I'm is gonna... a much better use of your time. I want to go to intermission. This chunky boy, fastest good boy. Oh my god. I I don't I don't like how you're intermission. No. Why did why did you do this, Bray? Oh, like, what the I'm hell's glad? going on? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck did I just come back to? <laughs> Welcome back, Hatchet. <laughs> but at least, at least, at 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 least we aren't cursed. Well, we are Wait. cursed in a certain sense, um, but not death I'm, curse. I'm... Sure, we're not cursed. <laughs> Wait, it got doubled. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Thank you. Two scare brights at once. And turning the off Chew one of them. To... The two has used ultimate powers. All right. So uh, I'm going to show this again. I'm not sure if Hatchet saw it either. All right. So Jerry, just go over to here. Help. Boy. You ready? Good boy. Uh, oh, Jerry, go to go. No, I, I don't and, uh, tell me what to do. If you try telling me what to do, I'll do the opposite. <laughs> Just when you're ready, come. You need look at I'm what I'm there. Oh, wait. Why did this one come on? No. Oh my God! I love your starting screen. The little nine nine nine. You know that's supposed to be the combination of the blood red pool too, in Canada. No. The it, blood it, red pool and Canada. Well, it's in Canada, so well technically they took some of it out and put in other sites to test with it. So technically, multiple sites don't question it. Well, I would. I I don't blame them for trying to separate it. Yeah. Oh fuck, we're up to five viewers. Yeah. Anyway, we'll go she back. Just, she just came in, so. Yeah. Counts as three. <laughs> she was three people. She was Hive Mouse. Yeah, just because you said that, Hatchet, I had to change it back. Hello? Dragon! Hello, child. We're, we're waiting on your ass. I see. Thank you. Have you already started drawing, or? No, oh, I'm done. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think technically we're that. actually just waiting on Jerry. The... No. The, he... the jury is out. Yeah. yeah. So Snake. Here... The three shoes. Snake. Here's, here's Snake. The... Anyway. Hush. What? Snake. Can I? Can I speak? Uh, I was going to say, though, huh? the reason why I've been adding everything as Creative Commons, because think about it, all those alerts and everything that's going to be put in, those are all SCPs and SCP stuff. So everything would have to be labeled as Creative Commons. Yeah. Now, what I'm starting to think is, instead of using that, um, uh, Outro and intro. <laughs> All right, I will. But uh, that I that I use now. You know the really crappy one, made by the really crappy person. Yeah. Oh yeah, like the YouTube one. Yeah, I'm gonna replace it with the, with you know the the starting and ending mm -hmm. screen. And maybe play music if that's Creative Commons. I know nice. I have that really good one that I sent Hatchet, but it was like really long ago. I have to refine it, and it's Creative yeah. Commons, so I can use it. Did you know all, or not all, but all most of Corpse Husband's songs are Creative Commons? Oh, me. 
also a uh, hatchet wait back wait a minute back up does that include the siren head song he did with chills i think that song i think it's like there's one song that isn't creative commons because he decided to collaborate with a really like a decently famous or a really famous uh rapper one well then that would not be chill because I believe the creator of Siren Head specifically doesn't want it in Creative Commons because why it will never be an SCP. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, Siren Head is copyrighted by Trevor Henderson. But I think he, he doesn't like go out like most other people, go out people who make parody songs or videos of that character. He just does not want Two. it to be certain things. And SCP being one of them. You, uh, I don't think Hatch sees the like chat. Yeah. Currently. Hatchet, uh, Chu wants you to cholo, uh, with us. Chu woo, Chu woo, not uh, oh woo, Chu woo. How how can I do that? There's an emoji. Um, from yeah, there's an Chu's emo. Channel. It's an emote, not an emoji. <laughs> I I'll call it an emoji. Just oh, is it spike. is it a sub thing? Yeah. Oh Maybe no, I can't. might have gotten into some. I it might be a sub, might be like. If so, pe- chew, Damn, they can't do it. I managed it. Oh, sweet. I don't know who needs to know this, but since I have to know what it, I have to know now. You have to know. Uh, fun fact: newborn, like just born, sugar glider babies. Uh, uh, they look like forbidden uh, gummy bears. Sure. What are you, what are you talking about? A uh, for a uh, TikTok came across my for you page, and it's a sugar glider giving birth, and it they just yeah, that's small and creepy. pink. What's a sugar glider? They're cute little squirrels. Squirrel oh thing. shit! 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 No! No! And their babies oh, look good. like forbidden I... gummy bears. <laughs> the swamp peeper oh, protected me. The swamp peeper protected me. <laughs> oh my god! Oh <laughs> god damn it! Right. I I right. was about I was about to send payment and and instead of putting a new window, it decided nope. Let's just put it here. You are irresponsible. Okay. All right, now I gotta go. Also, how are things going over there, Jerry? Sorry, I'm trying to get your fur baby right. No, you're good. I appreciate it. Two, five. I'm probably not doing the best job. Zero. Continue. Why do I have to? It's so fucking. Why do I have to de- describe a description of what I'm doing? For send Why payment. do you have Fuck to you describe PayPal. a description of what you're doing? Shut up. That's this. Oh, he's my lad. But yeah, I am and, very happy for that. And can you pick up Festus? And then, like, pick him up. And then do like the little belly thing that you go. Oh, boo, 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 boo. What? I'm, most people cannot woo 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 woo, but cats belly. Cats are not dogs. Woo 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 woo. Fair point. Well, what do you mean by boo 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 boo? It's it, like you just make it, you do like I don't know. It's where you, you do breathe into it belly, like you just, you're yeah. you're trying to tickle their stomach. Most oh. cats. Try to claw oh, your you face mean... out if you do that. Oh, you mean like raspberries? Yeah. We had well the actual biggest issue is the fact that he's got fur in his belly. I mean he, he basically lets me. He's a really chill cat, but he has fur in his belly, so I can't actually blow raspberries. Or do you? You can try. I just tried. It does not work. <laughs> Well, did you know apparently Kanye West is trying to make his own uh like city thing called the 
uh, Yeko system. The fuck? Or the Yeko system, I don't know. We truly live in a society. We really do. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Peppy, right. don't crowd in I on have Festus. I my artists. We did half up front, half at, at the end. And it all cost $500. Oh, damn. It was worth it. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. worth it, but still, still damn. Ima imagine all of the uh, redacted games I could purchase with $500. Imagine all, all right. the good games you could buy. Abel we going go. out with Yuri. I would Yuri. still be getting good <laughs> Again, games. Yuri. Yuri. Oh, my God. <laughs> Dr. Rapper and good. Abel making out. <laughs> why was, why was Dr. Case. Rattler orange? Because all I remembered was the hair color for a second. <laughs> Shut it. <laughs> Turned into eggs. I'm not good at drawing people. I'm glad that Penguin drew my character instead of me. Thank you for making it a lot less awkward. Well, yeah, I, 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 I feel like it is a no-brainer to only draw your character, partially because I feel like most people in here only know what your character looks like. Yeah. Well, anyone who looks at my actual profile pic will see I am a black snake with three eyes. I, oh, no, I, oh, I, I, I watched Jiri, uh, like, create... His character. Inkling fucking okay. explodes. I, I've seen his character. Here okay, says, I, I don't like it. any of you anymore. Oh, like, I've seen him, sorry. Up here like, we go. Yeah, Exploding right. Inkling. Oh, mine got really bad. Why did we not get any points for that? <laughs> <laughs> Result of Octoling bombing. Jesus fucking Christ. Bright, how, how are you? Why are you being racist to the cephalopods? You do realize that octolings are like the the oppressed minority within that context, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not only that, they're also the bad guys, so it's 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 a, it's an odd situation. Actually, you want to know the funniest part? Uh, in is Bright okay? Bright. Sorry, someone came in the room. Oh, sorry. Then. Uh -huh. Um, I gotta, I gotta say, I am really peeved that Jerry and I didn't get points there. That is bullshit. I agree. Also, also Adern, are you going to be joining the game? Yeah, I think they said it. Is, it is exactly uh, Penguin's prompt. We followed it. An exploding inkling. Yeah, literally the only difference is I, I, I put the words in a different order and i didn't put in fucking also mm -hmm. uh, also here's the thing uh chu says the fact that octoling bombings aren't a thing in game offends me oh my god why would you want why would you want that Pika? <laughs> so i'm not the only one messed up why does she will mess you oh no uh, oh yeah. Wait, okay. I'm gonna get a point. Uh, I'm gonna get a point. Me and Hedge are gonna get a point. Why gosh, you will mess you. Thank you. It's not lazy. Well, that's the thing. It's not lazy because one, I got this right when I had to step away, and two, I have no idea what that is. <laughs> it's it's just wine. And fancy looking like Japanese candies. Okay. How would any of us know what that is? Google! Google, Google well, is free. Google is free. For now. Let me, no, like, let me actually, like, how would any of us be able to get points and draw that in a manner that? Dr. Bright would be able to understand what it is. That's a fair point. I hate you. 
on top of that, again, I didn't know what Christians it was, having and ideas. I was having issues. Oh no. Patch, oh. you're gonna hate me. Fuck you. <laughs> Fastest need lasagna. God damn it, you pieces of shit. Oh, oh, oh that actually looks cute. Oh. Where's the lasagna? Okay. No what? lasagna, only Wait. lasagna. Wait, what happened to his tail? Why is his tail so long? Jesus Christ. Fire Red Emblem has gifted a sub to uh, No, 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 no. You, you misconstrue. Uh, thank you for the dear sub. Dear Hatchet, you misconstrue. Uh, thank you for the It's not... It's not a tail. The 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 cat is bipedal, but bipedal in the way of the front legs are legs, and there are no back legs. It is just noodle. Penguin, that is a tail. It is a tail. It is it's just an ungodly long tail. Are you kidding me? I am me? an abstract artist. It's it's fine. Okay. That's fair. Okay. There's something I gotta mention before I continue. Mm -hmm. Apparently, the artists that did all that shit. Did it while doing sick, or while being sick. Oh, oh. damn! <laughs> damn, they're oh, talented. <laughs> also, I appreciate the fact that, like, besides the tail, you got Festus almost perfectly. He's got the little, he's got the little socks on his feetsies. Orange tabby, short fur. This is perfect. <laughs> Jerry is Jerry is the winner of all things. Because they okay. properly represented Festus. Wait, I wait. I'm on top. <laughs> Don't say tied. it like that. <laughs> We're yeah. all tied. No one's on top. What did I just get sent? Oh, you sent me the picture. It's, Thank you. It's based, it's based on your positioning in the. Like it's based I on where when you came in. So long tails. I just yeah, like the wing cat's long tails. That's fair. Yeah, Festus has like a dis like that's something that my family has noticed. Festus has disproportionately sized appendages. Like his feet are too small, his head is too small, his tail is too short. He's he's just slightly mixed up and we love him. All right, sorry, I was I was setting the artist up. Where am I going to receive the the artwork? I'm pretty sure yeah. I gave the email to them. But uh, yeah, all right, now I got to think about. Is this? I have, but I I am surrounded by cats. I have a Festus and a Peppy. It probably I'll probably use them starting Monday. So that's the first day I'll have the day off. Actually, I, I've decided that for my prompt, I am going to put uh, my idea into Google Translate three times. That is Actually, an awful time, idea. Time. All right, I'm done. And uh, Chu, I am sorry. Like, are like, are you just trying to keep people from getting points? Yes. <laughs> Piece of shit. Wow. Wow. You know what? I was actually about to say I feel kind of bad for writing this prompt, but you know what? After that, I should go to like Jerry. I should go to go to Jerry first. I would. I would love it if it goes to Jerry first. We Wait, would what do you mean? She says, "Don't numbers. let let Adurna see that." Uh, should I be worrying? Food? The message about being a sub. Oh. oh. Oh, yeah, no. I already knew you were a yeah, sub, too. <laughs> Silence. I knew okay. you were. Okay, Silence. So you... There's a okay, child I here. I don't, I don't want to know, and I honestly don't give a fuck. You, whatever you do in the bedroom, that's on you, buddy. That's on Silence. <laughs> Silence. Two says um, bonk. Someone nine. Okay, someone... so you're the one who you're the one who deserves the bonk too. 1984, the child. Shut the fuck up. So, anyways, um, the prompt that I I did some. Peace. Listen here, <laughs> oh, bitch. Listen here. <laughs> I did what Hatchet wanted. Okay, that was not me. <laughs>
<laughs> that was not me. Let me guess, Chew did that? Most likely. <laughs> Um, so, I hope whoever gets my prompt, I feel like they're gonna know. I would- I want to tell you that I ran through the original prompt, like, three times over, and somehow my prompt still makes sense, but it just removed one of the characters and replaced it with a random type of animal. Was it mine? <laughs> no, no, no. It, it, it. It, it, it's something that I came out, uh, came out of my brain. Ah. My beautiful Festus. Whoever's gonna get mine is gonna laugh their asses off. But laugh their asses off. Chu doesn't like oh it, God. but they're gonna laugh their asses off. Festus lays yeah, upon my uh... bed. Festus lays okay. upon my bed, and okay, I. Okay. What, what the fuck? fuck? <laughs> <laughs> How the? F Wait, what? How do I draw this? <laughs> It, it has something to do what? with chew, chew, uh, no. hatchet. No. Oh. No, it doesn't. It has to do with green tea. What? Oh. That's all I will say. I don't want to know. Oh, Honestly, wait, no, no it's, it's not green happen. tea. It's a different thing. I'm dumb. Not that, yeah, that makes sense. Two. Two. You, you oh wait, since Pika's bones, in chat. So we did you, I'm right? Sorry. Since Pika's in chat, uh, Pika, how do you feel about the Splatoon servers being down? Or are they up? Or are they, like, are they up and they're laggy? I don't know, I haven't checked. Hello? Do you expect them to instantly respond to you? No. You did. Then... No, I was like, y'all, y'all. Uh -oh. I don't platoon. It's not my thing. I don't care. Man, I'm a lazy son of a bitch. <laughs> We know this. <laughs> what did you do? Should I be looking at the screen? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> right, I hope you know that if I get this, I'm going to immediately fuck you over. <laughs> if I get your just prompt... Word art. <laughs> if... If I get if I get your prompt, if I get your art, I'm going to make it something completely different so that you don't get a point. I had a reason for my being lazy. <laughs> no to draw. You could draw the prompt. You could literally that's you like draw it. That you could easily draw that prompt. I'm lazy. Oh, that's easy. Bro, <laughs> you could literally do it as stick figures. <laughs> Boy, have like I have a def I definitely have a harder prompt than you, Frank. Fine, yeah, same. I'll erase it. And mine's only two words and I have a harder prompt because it's something that's more obscure to American audiences. And stop being an American audience, audience, dipshit. How about you stop being a Floridian, fuckface? Hey, fuck you. Fuck you too. Big ass circle. I did not know it was obscure. I... There we go. Like if I'm in like I'm into anime and I barely know what this stuff is. I, I anime. Throw it on mochi. This is no, I'm not gonna say it. Nope, I forgot Dragon was here. Never mind. Stop. Drop and roll. Well, if it's something Hell. that dra if it's something you can't say that dragon with dragon here, it's probably something I have heard of. 
Uh, it starts like with I D. Said, I grew up around mochi. Mochi. Man. Oh, yeah, mochi. I love mochi. Yeah. The only I, uh, I, type I, of mochi I haven't really had yet, I believe, is grilled mochi. Man, what the so... fuck even is mochi? It... Oh, it's a kind of... It's not like a marshmallow-like kind of treat, isn't it? Well, you take uh, glutinous rice flour, you cook it, some add sugar, some don't, you pound it, and it turns... and you uh, hit it into a... Well, it's usually made into, like, a circle-like shape. But do you need pictures of mochi? I know what it looks like. I've seen it in stores. I've always no, wanted to try it. No, I'm to ask it. They said, what is even oh. mochi? Well, yeah, I have, I have reference images up. I just don't know what it's made of. Isn't it made right. of It's like literally so glutinous rice. Oh, yeah. And there's like, some of them have marshmallow in it. The filling depends on the mochi. Some are savory, some are sweet. Okay. This is a bit better. Because either gonna love what I'm drawing or hate Hold it. Hold on, I'm I'm basing my judgment book form. Which one was better? Previous one or this one? Why is it green? You've never I'm seen a green with... cricket? No, what? I have never green. seen a green cricket. I see a ton of them over here. Yeah, green crickets are like Pretty often, I think. Yeah. I've seen a giant green cricket before. Yeah. That was so, yeah. Yeah, they exist. I've... The only crickets I see around here are black. I see grasshoppers. But. Not and also, Bookman also uh, says, at least in animation, they are. <laughs> I've That's seen fair. black ones as well. I've also seen brown ones and sand colored ones. Yeah, the ones that we get are, like, the only uh, crickets we get around where I live are completely black. And sometimes kind of white. Which, those ones you gotta watch out for, because apparently they're the ones that will eat clothing. Oh! If, 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 they, if, they, get, if they get into your house, there can be issues, because they start gnawing on your cotton. You know what? I think I know why they they drew 999 as the blood red pool thing. Because they were confused as to what SCPs were. So I told them what SCP-999 was and their description of it. So they might have just looked up 999 <laughs> in the blood red pool picture. They looked at it and just combined the two. Uh -huh. I mean, still, I I'm still going to use it. It's still really a lot better than what I have. All right, well, I like, love the modern thing. Yeah, like, this is good. And it contributes my favorite SCP, so. Which is 354. Not many people, everyone, everyone I've talked to when I, when I say about SCP stuff, they always think that Dr. Bright's my favorite. They are not. It's not. Three five four. Who left? Moderna. Moderna. Moderna is back. Hi. Are you okay, Moderna? Is your net dead? Well, technically, if yeah. net dead, they can't hear me. Exactly. Yeah. Mine. Yeah, Hope this is okay. close enough. This had to like restart it, so. Uh -uh. Like restart, like. Well, like just jump back in. I mean, sorry. Right. Hopefully, people can get what I'm trying to draw here based upon what we've been talking about. Yeah. It, ah, The Sims 4. Oh, what happened? The Sims 4. Um, 
So the I'm, I'm scrolling happened. through TikTok, right? Uh, and a video shows up, and it's The Sims 4, and it's showing, okay, so this Sim is the daughter of a, of a person, but also the romantic interest. It is also a toddler! Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, something. They need to fix that glitch. They need to fix that glitch. Uh-oh. Holy shit. Uh oh. Like, okay, yeah, I think that glitch has been fixed now. Big no. Like, like, okay, siblings, there's like a slight, like, the, like I can understand that existing. Parents? No. Uh uh-uh. uh. No. I still, I, I think that's still kind of weird though, but parents, I feel like that's worse. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, I, I hold to the stance that incest is morally neutral because the thing that makes incest bad, generally speaking, is imbalanced power dynamics that can exist in literally any relationship. But oh. especially in the case of like parents on a child mm-hmm. or a mm-hmm. younger person, that's where there's it's it's unacceptable. The the power I imbalance is too great. How Woody Allen married his daughter. Yeah, like that's just that's not that no, that's not within what I would consider acceptable incest. <laughs> as weird as that matter, statement is, it doesn't matter if she's an adopted daughter; she's still his daughter, and it's still gross. Yeah, awesome. yeah, like like in that like the issue there isn't blood yeah. relations because to me like blood relations are kind of a mute point. Literally, the only issue is maybe don't have biological kids. Yeah, which isn't a big deal. Like freaking out over blood relations is literally just expecting that if someone's in a romantic relationship, they have to have offspring, which mm-hmm. I think is dumb. the The big issue is power imbalances, and in that case, yeah, like he is a father figure, therefore he has a blatant power imbalance also, over uh, his now yeah, wife. Yeah. Also, speaking of incest, uh, there was this one streamer that was heavily canceled and. They almost quit because they said all forms of incest are okay. No, no, God, uh, no. Uh, yeah. Shut them up. Yeah. Pretty sure if canceled, the they've inter- technically been shut up. Well, yes, they, yeah. <laughs> well, well, I'm just no, endorsing the, the cancellation. Like the it's that's the that's the. Thing the... In the that's the thing about like when I say incest is morally neutral, what that basically means as as a concept, it is neutral, but it can be taken in both good and bad directions. And uh, I, I would actually say that probably the majority of what we think about is probably bad directions, especially like parents or siblings that have an abnormal power dynamic, but it can be non-harmful. Like, literally, the stereotype of cousins getting together, I don't see an issue with that. Assuming that there's not, like, an odd family imbalance there, there's literally no issue with it, morally, as far as I'm concerned. But, like, parents or, like, an older guardian, like a niece and uncle, that's bad. Uh, I'm gonna be right back. Okay. I don't know how controversial my takes are. I don't know. I feel like it's just, it's kind of just gross. I That's think understandable. It's I don't want to see that shit. Especially in like fictional the... spaces, like online spaces. I don't want to see that shit. I know that shit happens in real life, right? Why, is, why did my music pause? Like that shit happens I mean, that... in real life. I don't want to see that shit in fandom spaces. I don't agree with it because I feel like it's naturally skewed towards the disbalance and there's no real way to yeah. balance it out. Yeah, because, okay, the only time I feel like I could give it a pass is if they're, like, they are related, but they had zero idea and they didn't grow up together. Because that happens a lot. And it's it, it's really upsetting because sometimes people will be in, like, these committed relationships oh. and then they find out that they're related yeah. and it's like, oh, you poor soul. Red Fire Emblem when Alabama size and release. Yeah, but I would argue that, like, even if someone grew up with another person, depending on the family, like, the way that the family functions, it would still be non, it could be non-toxic. 
like it's just kind of I, I'm saying that this should be taken from a case by case basis. Mm-hmm. But in fandom spaces, absolutely the fuck not. Absolutely not. What the well, fuck? I mean, I can understand not wanting to see it, but like fandom spaces are going to fandom space. No, because like, some of the shit, the fandoms I've been in, the thing is, it's not just the incest shit. It is incest atop of fetish shit. Always. And it's like, well, there are several is, layers uh, of fucked up. I just realized this is getting too far, but... Yeah, but it, uh, it's just kind of probably think best like to, to speak not. about this with you because you're seven, like 16. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I the, the my my basic thing is I can understand not wanting to see it, but also like if it's in a fictional context within like fictional like people talking about fiction. Again, I don't see I don't see much of like actual harm being done. I'm gonna start playing with my slime. That's fair. Yeah. Well, it's the mainly the thing of, even if it is just fiction, fiction does affect reality. So it's I mean, it does, it does affect reality, but not in an overt, over the top way that would make this actually something that needs to be gotten rid of. In fact, like I've actually read several studies that points out that just getting rid of these things could actually damage society because then we create an environment where we literally can't talk about abuse. Yeah, that's actually I am true. Back. Like uh, the I I like these fictional mediums exist because there are people who can use them. And obviously things can go too far and we have to keep an eye out for that. But like opposing it outright I think is unproductive because while well, one commonly you just end up falling into the same basic argument as video games cause gun violence. Fuck it's still miss. fictional media and the majority of people can differentiate between fiction and nonfiction and can figure out this is something that's okay in a fictional context. This is something that should not happen in real life. The fuck did I miss? We're we're talking yeah. Uh, it it kind of skewed off from where I was talking about incest. Oh, okay. Like don't, like don't don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that you should feel inclined to like yeah, put yourself your in sister. situations where <laughs> you're around things that make you uncomfortable. Obviously, like yeah. if something makes you uncomfortable, I'm not saying that you just shouldn't be made uncomfortable by it. But I'm saying that these things exist and they're like these things exist for good reasons commonly and may and just like wholesale getting rid of them doesn't actually help society i i i i I talk about this stuff a lot on twitter where i can like where where i vent about uh mad issues yeah and it's it's just we have very weird standards built up around what's acceptable within media without commonly actually looking at like raw data surrounding it like it's a very intuitive position that this stuff existing in media increases the likelihood of people acting out in harmful manners but statistically speaking that is not the case like like we have data on this and it's just not the case. Schmer. I will I will I will get off my soapbox. I apologize for hijacking the stream. So, so yeah, what I'm thinking of planning is that uh mainly because I have to do a night shift the next day after Monday, so I have to stay up. Mm-hmm. Uh, Among Us Cards Against Humanity stream. On Monday? Yeah. Sweet. You all right, Penguin? Mm-hmm. Okay, I just mm-hmm. wanted to make sure, like, I... 
in, in like a, after getting off my soapbox, I realized the way that I went about that could be uncomfortable. I don't I don't oh, want to yeah, make it's anyone very uncomfortable. Well, yeah, I don't want to make anyone is... uncomfortable. I'm just dating my positions. No one's gonna hate because the you, thing is, it. in fandom spaces that I have observed, is the thing is they are never coming at the angle of uh, looking under it as under a microscope of seeing. Huh, I wonder why, you know, what this would be like. They are always doing it to fetishize or just be disgusting about it. They are never doing it out of, like, intentions that are, yeah. They are always doing it out of really gross, down, like, downright, sometimes just straight up disturbing ways. It's never... Anything that could be misconstrued as anything else. This stream is uh, turned strangely political. Nah. It's not political, it's fandom space shit. Well, everything's political. Yeah. I, I would say that that's commonly more just an issue of the fact that I think fandoms just overall tend to be extremely unhealthy mm -hmm. and toxic. Like, mm -hmm. I, I feel like oh. fandom groups have a very long-standing history of developing toxicity so when you attach that to something that is more controversial it will just kind of compound upon toxicity if the that makes any sense that didn't develop as widely in the early internet is because forums weren't really as readily available back then yeah like like keep in mind like this is again not me saying that you should just be fine with engaging in a fandom or, like, you shouldn't have issues with a fandom doing this. That's entirely fair. I'm just also very tired of people taking, look at this fandom being toxic, and then saying, this mode of expression should be completely out, just completely gotten rid of. Like, I'm I'm not saying you shouldn't I don't think, criticize these I don't fandoms. Think... Yeah. Go ahead, Adorno. I don't think like Penguin was really saying that like yeah that and I, I was should be gotten rid of though yeah in in hindsight yeah sorry sorry I I've gotten that's yeah I I've gotten used to people saying basically what Penguin said look at and this then fandom into to the tune get of look at this graph and my brain kind of just went on a trail with that so <laughs> oh, I, I, I apologize is not really that person. They're just a chill kid. Yeah, I know. I apologize, Penguin. But, like, uh, like the... Oh, fuck. Oh, I just got- I saw, I saw a video that was under a tweet. Uh, it's a line of parents outside my school coming to pick up their kid. Holy shit. Because, the, like, the, uh, the one news station tweeted out about everything going back to normal after a gun being found in my school's bathroom. And it's a line of very upset parents. Holy shit. I guess that what that's what happens when I've... there's over 2,000 students in a school that should only be able to hold, like, yeah. What happened? Why did you send me four of the same fucking message, right? But uh, I know a, a, a biggest example of people, uh, two fandoms. Well, I'm not really a part of the Genshin fandom, but in the Cookie Run Kingdom fandom, uh, Cookie Run fandom, there is a concerning amount of it. Uh, that is, uh, they call themselves pro shippers, and it's like straight up like, uh, adults dating children in really ugh ways. It's ugh. Yeah. Um, and just characters that are canonically related, people shipping them, knowing that they are canonically related. And they're always doing it in really fetishy ways. And it's just, it's disgusting. It's really gross. And they never even put any warnings or anything about it. They're just like, yeah, we're going to put this out in the world. Uh, if you feel gross about it, uh, go fuck yourself. And it's like, what? Yeah, no, that's, that's, the, that's the line that I would draw there. Like, I can... Mm -hmm. I, I can understand, like, wanting to make the, like, engage in that fiction the way that anyone wants to engage in, but there should be content warnings. That's a big thing. Yeah. Like, That's there the thing should is... be content warnings on these things, because obviously, like, 
that that would just in general make fandoms more inclusive and able to engage with a broader amount of people because obviously in this case people just going out there without content warnings is a bit of a problem because it obviously puts off some people i wouldn't even say content warning i would put trigger warning because a lot of the shit is and can yeah. be for people triggering well i i'd say content warning because it's basically just a broader version of trigger warning like content um, like a con a content warning in my mind would also be a type of warning is literally just putting a warning of anything that could be triggering or upsetting in any way yeah so it's 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 basically a better version of a trigger warning yeah as well as without the stigma of anti-sjw's freaking out over trigger warnings But yeah, again, I didn't mean to make you uncomfortable or make anyone uncomfortable. Uh, again, the Genshin fandom, uh, like a concerning amount of the fandom ships two brothers by saying, oh, but they're, they're adopted, and so it's fine, even though, number one, they don't even like each other as like being friends anymore. But number two, uh, they see each other as strictly brothers. Like basically like, and it's like well yeah be it blood or not blood if you're brothers you're brothers if you mm -hmm. love each other as brothers then it's gross to ship them yeah i yeah. guess that's just i guess that's just again like that thing where i think this to some extent just comes down to personal media preferences because like in my mind again like this is a fictional context so, like, no actual harm is being done. What should be being done here is making content warnings to let people know that this is something that exists in this post. If you don't want to see this, don't click on it. But I, I, I basically what I'm saying is I don't think it should just be tossed out there without warning. But I also don't see a an actual issue with it existing on the surface. I feel like the thing is, I feel like it's like a dead dove do not eat situation, where if you're going to make ugh, content about it, at least be like aware that it's ugh, and just say that you're making yeah, content that's... to like absorb that it's ugh. Yeah, that's that's and a good that you way don't to put it. Like, like like it in a way that isn't ugh. Yeah, like gonna... that's that's a good way yeah, to put it. Like, mind. yeah, like. I, I think the best artists of, shall we say, ick, that, that, <laughs> what that, that's going to be our new euphemism <laughs> for this stuff. Uh, the best artists of, the best artists of ick content in my mind are ones that are very open about saying that this is like, like, I, I, I follow a couple people that make ick content on Twitter and their bios just outright say, uh, like, one, no like shipper stuff like no like over the top stuff like that coming in and two this is fiction fight against the actual thing like i i think I like know, fandom sometimes... like that's the thing the the best know. way the i i guess what i'm trying to say is i think fandoms could be made generally much better if we spread an awareness of like trying to get people to understand that it's okay to enjoy problematic media mm -hmm. and still be able to understand that it is fundamentally problematic to some degree whether it be this can't be done in real life morally or this is something that helps people with something that can't be done in real life morally mm -hmm. like i i think there needs to be a greater awareness around it around the fact that some of this stuff is toxic if done in real life i don't know because sometimes there is an issue with that though is sometimes the people that are like oh you should just focus on the real stuff are people that tell people to go fuck themselves when people have an issue with it when they st stumble upon it and the people that don't put warnings for the weird like ick shit that's like usually when i see it in fandom spaces it's That's it's fair. usually and the thing is it's the worst part is, is it's not even adult media and adults doing kind of 
shit in adult media, it's usually kids content. And they're like, oh, and like they're gaslighting kids that are indulging in a fandom that is targeted towards them. uh, And they're gaslighting it by and like still peddling this for like, ugh, shit, uh, without warning and are gaslighting kids into it. Like, that's usually what I see a lot, Uh, especially with the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle shit. Uh, For some reason on Twitter, T-Cest got trending and a lot of people rightfully so were like, hey, um, what the fuck? Don't what? And, a, and one of the creators of the show was trying to pedal for that shit in the show. What? Brothers! The turtles are brothers! Yeah, the turtles okay, are brothers! Yeah, and that's the, like... the fucking storyboard artist was trying to push for it in the show, and it's like, are you fucking... What the fuck is wrong with yeah, you? That that's... is a kid's show! Yeah, that's the other you thing. This stuff fuck. should not... That's the other important thing in, in my in my, I would say, rather nuanced perspective, this shit should it, not be in kids' media. It should not be in kids' oh, media, no. and it should not be shit you can easily stumble upon. That's my thing. If it's going to exist, put in a dark corner somewhere. People that want to find it, they can find it. People that don't, they shouldn't have to fucking worry about it. That's yeah, my I, take on it. I think like, that's, yeah, I think that's fairly agreeable in my mind, too. Like, I, I think that the existence of this sort of media is necessary, but it definitely shouldn't be so, at the very least, in places that don't have as as good manners of diffusing it. Like, for instance, like the the source of a lot of what we would call ech content is Japan. Like, it's very mainstream for what we call ech content and for this fetishization of youth. But Japan also has one of the lowest child abuse rates in the world. Like, I, I think it commonly does come down to how cultures diffuse this stuff through it and just general cultural awareness of this is this is a thing that probably is bad that we shouldn't do in real life, mm-hmm. if that makes sense. Yeah. Like, well, it, yeah, it, but Japan also has a very big if problem as a whole that they've been trying to fight against and failing to because one, it's ingrained in their culture's history, which is, and two, um, two, they have this belief that you should create art and other things on it that help people with urges like that so they won't do it, which Mm -hmm. I think is okay. But they also have the belief of if you turn someone on, then it's your responsibility to help that person, which is not okay. Oh, yeah, no, that's uh uh-uh. That That, is still not okay. Yeah, I guess that's just... If you turn someone on, it's not your responsibility to do anything besides get the hell out if you don't want to do anything. Yeah, no, I think that that's, like, again, one of those things where we have, like, just multiple societal issues compounding and make no mistake i'm yeah. not trying to say that japan is perfect in this regard obviously oh, don't not. worry i i know where you're coming from yeah japan yeah I, i'm a lot of compounded issues that while i do uh look at the way they view art as a positive thing like make these certain arts to help people uh not do the bad things which is i think a wonderful thing but they yeah. also have a lot of cultural issues that kind of negate yeah. that good thing. Like, oh. Yeah, in other words, yeah. Uh, like what they, what I think, yeah, like what I think would be good is if we could spread the good aspect of that while also continuing to fight against the icky patriarchal aspect of that that we just yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, like, oh my gosh. I feel so bad for for the women in japan like yeah. there are so many women in japan that have been told outright when trying to get a job that they won't be considered for the job because they're female specifically the bosses are just assuming the woman will literally leave the workplace as soon as she has a kid like the fuck you're not even considering her you're not giving her a chance you don't even know if she wants kids you're just making this leap assumption. You don't know she'll leave work if she has a kid. That's horrible. 
Wait, not only that. It's so sexist. Uh, not only that, I, but with the kid, the child abuse thing, are is is are they actually low, or do people just not report it? That's the my that's like my biggest uh, question. In is. Japan, it's actually known to be pretty high. If you look at the report, oh, is it? Yeah. Oh. The What's issue I? is that people like that typically mm. don't get in trouble because they don't consider it a certain way unless. Okay, then I guess I might have been misinformed uh, on that. Yeah. Yeah. Also, uh, who's still doing their art? Yeah, who's who's still drawing? Because it, it's been a while. Yeah. I, I've doing my art I'm... for a long time. But I feel like my biggest thing is if you're struggling from things like that, is you probably shouldn't indulge in it. I, wouldn't that just make it worse? Oh no! Like it's that's the thing. Like there's been a lot of studies on this and. Generally speaking, it can be a very valuable coping mechanism. You, you got to think about it like uh, like repressing it doesn't actually help. And in fact, repressing desires commonly leads to more harm than good. Like, for instance, when we're talking about MADs, um, this is something that I found out recently that I found like a, uh, was it a Psychology Today article talking about it? The majority of child sex abusers or i probably shouldn't use that term uh the majority of child abusers do not have one of these disorders mm -hmm. like the majority of them end up abusing someone based upon other external factors most frequently i think the things that they listed were drugs power and power imbalances and uh general personal issues like there is still like four people with a disorder, obviously, a higher propensity for people with this disorder to engage in harmful actions, but that can be mitigated one through not treating them like literal monsters just for something that they can't help, but two, helping them find ways to deal with these desires in a healthy manner. Like, like, that makes way more sense than just randomly shunning people without exactly. giving a thought. Like, literally, a part of why Matt... Like, I hate the fact that, like, a small, like, very vocal minority of people with, uh, like, maps, a very small but vocal minority just ruined that term on places like Twitter when it was literally coined within psychotherapy to try to help people with those disorders get help. Because the most common term used is so heavily socially stigmatized that it discourages them from actually seeking out help. And thus causing actual harm. Thus, yeah, thus, like, most of the time, like, statistically, most of the time, all it actually leads to is them developing severe depression in their repression, but this also leads to a higher propensity for them to act out in a harmful manner. Yeah. Like, Not only that, why would you put that on your Twitter? Why would you want people to know that online? Wouldn't you want to keep that kind of, like, private where you're dealing with it oh, in no, real that's... life? Oh, no, that's, that's the thing. I, I hold that society cannot be, like, like, when talking about the Twitter maps issue, the way that they go about it is toxic because commonly these are people who are arguing that it's fine to do this with kids, which it's obviously not. But those are a very vocal minority. I are I would argue that it is important for people to be open about their mental illnesses if they can handle being open about it, because society is not helped by these people staying silent. Like if if I, as an individual with one of these disorders, remain silent, don't actually talk about it in a public space, it doesn't help other people understand that their perceptions of this are probably flawed. In the same way that to deal with issues surrounding DID or uh, ASPD, ASPD, we shouldn't just expect these people to remain in the shadows and not talk about it. Mm -hmm. Like, it's a mental health issue. 
we should be able to openly discuss mental health issues. When there is advocacy for harmful actions being done, push back against that, not just people with this mental issue in general. Uh, problem with that's a problem with like um oh sorry uh, sorry just like uh sorry Adrena real quick uh, oh, what yeah, were you go, trying go, to say go, Gary go go ahead yeah um, sadly when it comes to minority groups or people with uh uh issues that need help oh there we go typically, um typically they're wait the help oh Typically, uh, they're overrun, their voices are overrun by a vocal minority or by people posing as that minority that Indeed. wants to just make the group look a certain way that they're not. But yeah. That would also happen. Oh. <laughs> yeah, and like that's, that's again a part of why I'm just, there, there's very few terms that can properly describe my disdain for like the quote unquote map community on Twitter that demonized that term. They took that term and then used it in a manner where it directly negated the purpose that the term was originally coined for. Like it, well, it like, was, it, oh, sorry, go ahead, Dota. Oh yeah, no, go ahead. Like it's a term that was, gonna... yeah, it was, <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> Um, it, it's a, it's a term that, uh, my brain hurts. It's a term that was specifically coined to try to help get rid of this stigma. And then pieces of shit just took it and then continued to perpetuate the stigma. But yeah, go, go, uh, go ahead, Adorna. I was gonna say there's like a sim there's a problem with like um how we treat all there's like you know like well you were talking about like PID there's also a problem with uh how we treat narcissism how we treat um uh what is it called how we treat uh, this second like how we you like see psychopathy, how we see, like, yeah, mental disorders in general have been treated yeah. very badly. Uh, I just want to comment that while I've heard a lot of people say it was good that psychologists uh, tested acid on people with schizophrenia because that's how they learn what works. I've never heard people comment about how fucked up it is that they didn't tell the people they were testing on that this was unproven. They, oh, they were, God. yeah, people tend to just skip over that. I mean, I don't talk about that, that part much, but literally they were so confident it would work. They were just telling everyone it would work. They saw the short term side effects and thought, this is amazing, but it makes it worse. Oh, geez, that's. It yeah, makes no, that's. It worse. And Be because apparently. I just wonder what kind of mom my mom would have had if they hadn't done that to her. Yeah, it's like. Uh, apparently, if someone has a mental disorder, informed consent just doesn't matter anymore. That goes for, like, a lot of... That just goes for disabilities in general. Or if you're yeah. a woman. Yeah. Oh, man. No, because... Do y'all know about the husband you snitch? Win, uh, just... Oh, manning. Oh, man. Yeah, this is... About the this stream snitch? is now oh, man. I have oh, no boy. idea what you're talking about. The husband stitch? The hus- no, I've never heard of that. So after uh, someone gives birth, the, usually when a woman gives birth, 
uh, I guess in this specific context, uh, and she has a husband. The husband, while she is under, usually when she is completely blacked out, can go to the doctor, hey, can you stitch up my wife down there in this way? Yes, and it is I usually incredibly painful for the woman. That is, Penguin is right. That is a thing they do. I remember my mom, uh, even though she wasn't under the, she wasn't passed out or anything. And mind you, uh, Marcus, my stepdad, who was her legal husband, uh, had massive brain damage. So they couldn't ask uh, him or anything. So they just asked her like, hey, do you want us? Do you want us to make it like new again or something? She had literally just for days pushed out my sister, and that was one of the things they asked her. The uh, oh, you God, want that's... it stitched up because that that is the thing you ask someone. Apparently, I feel yeah, like I, I've I... heard of it. You know, I feel like I've heard about this, but I might have suppressed it in my brain because this is just so fucked. Like, I okay, don't on Twitter, blame you. On Twitter, I saw a uh, tweet from someone who's a surgeon, uh, and they said, "I like, what the fuck is a head surgeon called? I think it's just called a head surgeon. So the husband was in after his, his wife was getting a C-section, and the husband decided, hey, uh, to quote-unquote make a joke saying, oh, when y'all are done, can y'all... Uh, give my wife a, uh, a husband stitch, even though she gave birth to the child through C-section. And the this, this head surgeon was like, you know, but we can't increase the size of, you know, uh, if that would make everything better. And apparently that was unprofessional for people on Twitter, even though I feel like that's a valid response, seeing as when you are doing surgery on someone, you only care about the person you are doing surgery on, and not some jack off that's next to him. Yeah. Next to you. Oh wait, okay. So you know what? Let's change to lighthearted stuff. Okay, so it gets yes. is canonical in Splatoon that um. Yeah. Before we go to lighthearted stuff. Oh darn! It left. Uh, thank you for the one hundred seventy-five bits, uh, bookworm. But yeah, may I comment something before we go to lighthearted stuff? Yeah. Yeah. Did you know in Japan, although it's illegal to force family members with mental illness to uh, get uh, sterilized, family will typically trick them into getting sterilized regardless. Uh... Yeah. That also goes for trans people. Trans people, if they want to medically transition, have to get sterilized. In Japan, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm done. Oh. You know, besides that's having that's a population in, uh, decrease, you would think Japan would be like, yeah, let's probably not sterilize all these people. But yet, yeah, here they are. But you see, obviously, like, our, our fear about the pop population growing too old is obviously not stronger than our fear of Minorities. trans... Uh, uh, our fear of transness being hereditary somehow. Yeah, like, uh, is there is there a, of, is there a uh, trans fear gene of people with disabilities and fear of people with uh, mental illnesses? There we go. Okay, so but, yeah, all the like, lighthearted stuff. Um, well, real quick, I was just gonna finish this off. Again, sorry if I took it into a abnormally charged base with this. At this like th these are topics that I'm very passionate about as y'all can probably tell mm -hmm. like I, I'm i uh, for for reasons that I've also laid out I'm pretty passionate about these things and I, I will admit that I'm definitely I'm obviously not the 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 I, I'm obviously not the most uh I'm not an arbiter ar arbiter of understanding on these topics. I feel like I have a decent one, but obviously there's things that I have heard that are probably incorrect here and there. But in general, yeah, I I think I think I think my overall position at, at the end of this is one the really 
things probably at the very least in places where it's less healthily diffused into the culture should be more heavily pushed to the side and especially kept out of children's media uh two in fa fandoms could be made significantly better if we just encouraged people to give content warnings surrounding the things that they are posting uh and and three fuck twitter yeah fuck twitter that's I, I feel like those are the three things that we can probably all agree on at the end of this row of difficult issues. I think everyone like already probably agreed yeah. with that last one. Like for well, yeah. <laughs> Bird sight is bad. So, okay, on lighthearted stuff now. Yeah. Um. No. More dark stuff. Fuck you eat shit. Um, so, this is a horror. Yeah, this is a horror though. channel. So, so it is. It is canon in the Splatoon universe that uh, since they have the dab and they have some other stuff that is referenced to actual culture currently or in the past, uh, it is canonical that they have in their history classes have had to study uh, the dab. Meaning, it is very possible that Inklings have failed their history exams because they did the Whip and Nene instead of the Dab. Wow. Oh, wait, I would have preferred to not have this information in my did brain. Did Adurna get dropped out? And no. Wait, no. She's back. I'm confused. But, yeah. It, does, it is also canon... So, because Octolings and Inklings were separated for so long, and apparently they just decided to not teach about the Great uh, Turf War and that Octolings are a thing, Inklings, being as dumb as they canonically are, uh, just think that uh, Inklings just think Octolings are really, like, weird-looking Inklings. Uh, yeah, I've, I've seen that. In a couple of places. Like, they just think that they're really fucked up-looking. Oh. And according to Captain Cuttlefish, who was a part of the Great Turf uh, War, uh, he called a Marina a Octoling eccentric. So, yeah, and... Uh, hey, Apollo. Hi, Apollo. Hey, Apollo. Yeah, hey, Apollo. We are playing hey. Gartic Phone, oh, wait, if you want to that. join. Gartic sounds very tired. What? We said at uh, Hello, Apollo, you're like mumbling. Am I mumbling? Yeah, you were when you said hello, oh. Apollo. So it's like you sounded like you, you sounded very tired. <laughs> oh, I. Uh. Mic is fixed. I'm uh. I'm lurking uh. in yeah. the chat. Ah, uh. 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 okay. You picked a good time to come in because we have just gotten done with very heavy topics. It is morally correct to always simp for a character's mother or and or father. Why? I'd rather find an older character attractive than the hey. little sibling. Not you. Well, I'm just Diane, saying not all people. fathers are attractive. Like that is a good point. I would never look at uh that one the main you know the main character never mind. Uh. Unfortunately, thanks to my introduction to anime, my like the 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 two time like the two main things I think of when I hear anime mother is uh Aaron's mother and oh, uh oh. uh and uh um full metal alchemist brothers mother. No! The, those are the two mothers I think of. Okay, but those I'm an older anyway. anime fan, so whenever I think of Anime parent, I think of the main character of Evangelion's dad. All right, so are we ready to see the, the prompts? Yep. Hmm. All right. To being attacked by Twitch ads. <laughs> Sad Pikachu Twitch emotes. <laughs> 
Oh. Why did that get? Why did that get a point? adorable twitch emote. Why did that get a point? I have no point? clue. You know what? I'm fine with that though because that's 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 cute as hell. Yeah. yeah. This uh, needs to be this needs to be a this needs to be an emote for Chew's stream. <laughs> also, we're hearing also also we're hearing background noise. I think from Jerry. Yeah. That's mm. always Jerry. Not, not always. Sometimes other. A people. pigeon dies of a heart attack. Oh no! I ruined it at the end. <laughs> Oh, okay. I, so I need to tell dead bird. Poor dead, dead bird. bird. <laughs> okay, I'll and then... what <laughs> Bird's <we> wallet. <laughs> Twitter's bank I knew wallet. somebody would do that. <laughs> okay, wait. I need to tell you what the original prompt was. So the original prompt that I put into Google Translate several times was actually uh, Toad, mm -hmm. as in Toad from the Mario se uh, series. Toad dies of heart disease. <laughs> wait, what? And somehow it changed to a pigeon dies of a heart attack. <laughs> I I actually made my bird brown at first, and then we just and then I added that thing of fuck Twitter. So I decided to go back and make my bird blue. <laughs> and then I wrote my prompt. <laughs> yeah. Mochi raccoon. I meant four as in like four. Uh, like... It was a mochi. Badger taking a pink pill. <laughs> <laughs> Green background with weasel. I I yeah, thought it was a pill. With weasel. <laughs> God damn I mean, it, it, we it were talking about green. mochi. <laughs> Why did you think it was pink? Ball. There's a pink color in there. Fair point. Do you take pills that have like pink and then like a a a awkwardly different colored center? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I have. Yeah. I've never seen pills like that. Well, yeah, that's like a fucking loser. Get. <laughs> to electrocuting penguin. Oh. oh no. Oh. oh no, I know where this is going. <laughs> Pika launching a blue bolt from his ass. You, you didn't even notice the like other <laughs> I was ignoring Warrior from Pikachu the ass. shooting electricity from, from the ass. ass. Like why did the sword come in? <laughs> Where did the sword come from? Because I was looking at Peek his reference photo and there was a sword, so I drew the sword. Why? It's, it's not even what the <laughs> fuck? It's not even in Chew's hands. God damn it. I I fucking I fucking made this prompt so that I could try to like 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 make Chew happy for once in chat. And then and then this is well, what I, came I, from I, it. I, I I got I got I got I got it down. Yeah, Aderna, Aderna did great, and then the and then the child came in here. <laughs> yeah. And completely, completely missed it, because, oh. like, one, it wasn't coming from Chu's ass, it was coming from the tail. Two, Cricket wait, I got a point. Yeah. Oh, I got a point. Because, like, it was, it was, like... Sad Cricket on a Ferris wheel. <laughs> Everyone but the oh. prompt person got Wanna... a point. Well, are you sure? <laughs> right at the Look, end. Look, I was rushing. I didn't know you were Russian. Everyone oh, but Adirna at the Fuck end you. got a point. <laughs> I am Elber in Scandinavian Ukraine. Oh, Jerry's in the win. Jerry's winning. We must. Uh, we must. We must grab what? Jerry by his little noodle neck. So and Jerry, just our main and best the... artist, is winning. I'm not the best artist. Also, uh, Penguin, please do not speak violently of things you wish to do to me. Also, Sorry. is uh, is Apollo joining us? I would. Also, I'm gonna wait for the night because. Oh. I, I kind of want to focus more on my weird rash thing. That's fine. Right. Yeah. That's fine. 
hope subject matter didn't make you tired. No, no, it's literally the chemical burn. It started leaking again. Oh, oh no, okay. Chris, now this oh, chemical I did. burn has bothered my arm more than the fucking like stinger I pulled out of my arm. It was so far in my arm that I noticed the stinger was there by the white dot. I needled the white dot and I pulled out a damn stinger. But did oh. that bother my arm? No. But the medical bandages I put to cover the little spot I had dug it out of, no, that fucking burned me so bad the rashes fucking leak. Damn. Jesus. Yeah, I, I, I missed hearing the part about the chemical burn. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, well, now you've heard it, and now I, I leave. Yeah, see you so later, it has Jerry. nothing to do with the conversation. It just has to do with me angry at Rex. Yeah. This, this is gonna, actually going to be our last round, though. Yeah. I actually had to leave work early because the right. leaking is not uh, some food appropriate. Ah. Uh, also, is Apollo joining us? I think they said that they were just going to chill. Oh, okay. Oh, I want to go on a rant because I got reminded of it. The no. fact that fuck you, fuck you, <laughs> bitch. But the fact that Cookie Run thought, you know what would be an amazing idea? Uh, you know, we're going to make a character that's entire story uh, is very, very obviously a trans femme allegory. Uh, and also, not only that, but also canonically make them go through an identity crisis. And canonically use their dead name that they themselves do not go by. And is honestly heavily written and written similarly to a dead name. And only use he, him pronouns for a character that has specified a prefer feminine if not neutral pronouns. Uh, I know! And I'm just, so sad. Just Because she's a doornail, and everyone, every, everyone in the fandom dead names her, and it's like, did you watch the story with your fucking eyes closed? Yeah, it's just it's gonna like, hit but, me. But the, the game, the game, I'm putting it in stream planning as a character, but they're like, oh, but the game says that her name is and it's like, her name is Chaka Ware Brute, you bitch. Not only that's easier to remember, and it's not some random ass German word. Like, why the f ah? Uh, ah. We we continue to dead name Kraut. Uh, I don't oh, know what I'm saying. All I'm saying is is that Hatch is gonna hate my prompt. Oh, uh, I feel like someone's gonna love my prompt. Why is my de the default prompt I got is invisible grasshopper at NASA office? <laughs> it's kind of like the invisible pony on Mars. Yeah. <laughs> this is like a later mistranslation, like <laughs> down the line of the phone with the uh, invisible pony on Mars. Mm. <laughs> oh, yeah. That, that pony has gone through some time. shit. <laughs> yeah, that pony has gone through some shit. They went from Mars, uh, to to like somehow transmogrifying into a grasshopper and ending up at a NASA office. Oh my god! <laughs> there is, I, I just remembered that there is an invisible horse over there or an invisible pony over there and pointing at Mars because <laughs> I was a dumbass. God, I don't know what to say. I don't even have Festus around me to give me ideas. You don't, you guys only need 15 more followers before I have to do Tattletale. And make the bright bird emote a thing in Discord. Oh, I'll straight up uh, draw the, the, the bright bird emote. For a small price. I'm not well, I mean, it. we already have it. That... Oh, we do? Fuck. Yeah, re uh, remember the the newer person, Mind Kill, who came in and immediately did, like, an edit of Bright as a Bird in a treehouse in oh, Minecraft? Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. they uh they also sent me uh just bright photoshopped onto the Houtsen's body with yeah, transparent background. A... Yeah, but that's not as fun as a drawn one. I don't know, I like it. It's funny. Yeah, fair. Uh god damn it. I need to uh I I had Wait. I had uh, I'm I'm falling back on on, I'm falling back on my backup plan because I can't think of anything better. Broken says a small price, your mortal soul. <laughs> yeah. Wait, how much would my soul be if if it's forever trapped in it? Uh, and like an amulet. Your your soul is worth. Uh, two McNuggets. That's it. Two chicken McNuggets. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. I would say three. Uh, uh, that's pushing it. Maybe two and a half. Yeah, yeah, I could live with that. Right, could you live with that? I guess you would be dead. You are dead. I don't know. <laughs> We're just interviewing a corpse. How the fuck do I draw this? Did you get mine hatchet? I don't know. Does this have anything to do with me? No. And no. Oh, this fucking mouse. Good, hatchet didn't immediately see it. But yeah, just to be clear, because my anxiety is now acting up, I, I didn't cross any boundaries with the way I talked about that earlier, did I? No. Okay. Y'all know me. Like, my, my brain immediately, upon talking about controversial stuff, immediately takes that and tells me, Hey, you just ruined all of your friendships. Go die in a hole. Hey, you're a complete fucking failure. Yippee! And then just fucking vanishes. Yeah, my, my brain is very much like that, so... Under, understand that any time we talk about this, I don't mean to make people uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. I'm just very passionate about it. Yeah. For obvious reasons. Oh, shippers are a plague on all fandom spaces. Yeah, I can kind of agree. Yeah. No, because the worst part is, is a lot of them are children that are being, like, groomed and roped into this shit, and it's like, oh my god, Eed. what the fuck? Yeah, no, that's... Like, I, I'm all fine with, like, people making art of certain ships, even if they're problematic. But one, yeah, kids should not be doing that. And two, just, like, the over-the-top, uncritical nature of some of it is just bleh. As long as you're heavily critical of it. it like, it's still kind of iffy if you're making it, but it's like, as long as you're critical of it. I think it, the big thing... It, it's, it's... Yeah, I think I think the yeah. big thing is generally just, like, like, people make problematic media all the time and understand mm -hmm. that this is something that can't be done in real life. I think, like, like kind of like Kill a Kill, I feel like, kind of fits in that kind of category. I think that's not really yeah, it's kinda eh. Yeah, I mean hell, like here's an example. Uh the My Hero Academia uh third movie that I watched last night just straight up shows an act of mass bioterrorism. <laughs> like, I, I still need to watch that. It's a oh, it's easily so far my favorite My Hero Academia movie. There's like there's dozens of times where it just it feels like the animators are just blatantly trying to show off their budget. There's, it's so good, but uh, besides that, like, like we can we can see problematic things in media and be critical of them. The issue is when it's like people not actually thinking about the fact that some of this is fucked up. Like, I I think that not safe for work material can be one of the best mediums for creating horror content. And I stand by that based upon a handful of things that I can't talk about. Like, For obvious reasons. Yeah, like, like, 
like there are a lot of incredible horror stories I have seen come out of not safe for work animation or anime. But like the issue comes when people look at that and don't actually think like 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 just look at it without also acknowledging at the very least to themselves that this shit is fucked. Like we can enjoy the media and also understand that it's bad. The issue is when people don't properly acknowledge the fact that it's bad. It's, yeah, like they don't acknowledge the that it's bad and they overindulge in it in a way and it's like yeah. you're harming yourself. You are not improving anything. You're not looking at it a critical lens. You're not using it as like a kind of fucked up weird coping mechanism. You are harming yourself actively. Like what huh? Yeah. <laughs> You know what? You know what? I gotta fix the name. So that's actually something interesting that like I've recently been doing because I've been rewatching uh My Hero Academia um in preparation for the sixth season coming out. Mm -hmm. And what I will do is start by saying uh um I, I should preface preface it by Asking, is everyone all right for spoilers for both yeah. uh, late stage My Hero Academia as well as late stage Attack on Titan? Yeah, I, I don't really get, plan on getting... Um, yeah, Bookworm says the, yes. I know Bookworm's good. The, the main person I'm worried about is Apollo because I don't know where they sit on those. And Apollo has not spoken. <laughs> now what do I do? <laughs> You'll be forced to never say it again. Fuck. You're forced to sit in silence till Apollo decides to speak their divine words. Are you there, Apollo? Are they typing its dream planning or anything? Uh, no. Oh, they're typing in general. Oh, um, they said at 11.09. Never mind. What? Are, are they here? I have no fucking clue. I'm guessing they're away at the moment. Uh, check no voice. Nope, nothing in no voice. Except for a, a message from the child that I didn't notice up until now that says, this is Paladins. <laughs> Where? In no voice. Anyway, I guess I'll just do my best to describe this without uh getting too too in detail on stuff uh basically like in in like rewatching it uh my hair academia i've also been kind of like cross analyzing it with like one of my handful of criticisms of my favorite anime attack on titan mm -hmm. and uh like my Academia is one of my favorites, don't get me wrong, but I have significantly more criticisms for it. And, like, one of the main ones that I can think of that, like, really hits hard is the bury your gaze trope in My Hero Academia. We, like, the, it shows up in both of them, but it, I think it's far more egregious in uh, Boku no. Uh, because, well, for starters, like, basically, to those who don't know, in Boku no Hero, there are two canonical trans characters that are very clearly trans. There's a hero who's named Tiger, um, yeah. and there's a villain that's named Magna. I don't think I heard seen them yet. Uh, well, uh, they both first, uh, I think Magna first 
makes an appearance visually yeah. in the second season, and like they it. both star heavily in the third season. Mm-hmm. The only one that really like comes you actually like see is trans is Magma. Yeah, like like the the way that Tiger is portrayed is in a manner that it's less obvious that he is a trans man. Uh like the the way that he goes about it is he just could be perceived as being a more feminine guy. But some side media does confirm that he would that he is trans Mm -hmm. but my my issue with this dynamic is magna is a very sympathetic villain she's she was basically pushed by an uncaring society into committing egregious actions because society didn't accept her for her identity and you know we get this good buildup of understanding that you know she could have this wonderful character arc looking at this and like directly commenting on how trans people are uh, treated in hero society. And then in season four, she just gets fucking offed. And in fact, she's like one of the first and most gruesome deaths of the series. Because she tries to fight an extremely overpowered villain that they don't realize is overpowered. But... As such, the the series just ends up goose stepping. I just realized that I'm I am probably the only what, what they look like on Google Images. I'm just getting pictures of Nagant. Nagant. Apparently, she has the power to turn her arm into a sniper rifle. That's uh, that's <laughs> that's that's a character from the from the most like one of the latest arcs. What the fuck? I can't find this character, so um, I know what they look like. Yeah, Magna is a member of the League of Villains. Try looking that. It's Magna, because she does have more, like... Oh, wait, is it that guy who has the magnet power? What yeah. Oh, well, okay, now she... I know what you're talking about. Okay. Yeah, yeah she is. And yeah. she is the, the most... Girl, oh, the girl yeah. with the magnet yeah, the girl's like, oh, yeah, yeah, I don't she's know that guy. Yeah. Like, I I love Magna as a character because she could have been, like, she could have been used so explicitly to more thoroughly comment on the existence of transphobia in the hero world, but then she just gets fucking killed. Like, oh, yeah, why are all the trans characters? in uh in my hero academia also masculine like heavily too because isn't there another trans woman character who would you would think would have like the money because i think she is a uh, news reporter so you would think she would have like the money for like to medically yeah. transition because like, isn't that like i don't know i don't believe so the only other trans character that i know of uh that's like trans femme is mm-hmm. probably magnus friend that yeah. shows up in like one of her flashbacks, um, which I don't know their background, but it seems to me that the society just like especially what the brut what the fuck. Okay, what is this? Okay, um, but yeah, and like I don't remember. I don't remember what if if Tiger later on has issues that pops up uh because that would be happening within the most late the latest arc that's going to be spanning the entirety of season six but point being like i i think it's actually like a sub like a good manner of depicting how transphobia exists within japan specifically where uh tiger that trans man he was only able to transition because he left Japan. He went somewhere else, found himself there, and was able to properly transition there. Oh. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, there in Japan, Magna and her friend are unable to properly transition due to social stigma. And that social stigma feeds into her becoming a villain. 
like that a part of like what i love about my hero academia is it does a lot of commentary on systems of abuse in hero society and how it can be looked at as well as looking into our society like it, it's basically taking it's taking very real uh stories that could happen in our current society and then compounding it with the complexity of superpowers mm -hmm. like shigaraki a uh, spoiler warning for shigaraki a kid who has an incredibly dangerous quirk is abused as a child that quirk manifests he accidentally kills everyone that he ever loved and then no one helps him and he's picked up by the big bad none of the well-meaning people in the street stop to actually help him and then he gets turned into a practical super weapon because all for one was the one who picked him up like uh himiko toga she was constantly forced by society su to suppress her desire for blood, even though it's kind of an innate part of her, thanks to her quirk. And that eventually led to her uh, acting out in a harmful manner, because surprise, surprise, repressing desires doesn't actually help society in the long run, as we've already hey. talked about today in the stream. Oh, follows that. Oh. I, I go to get food and I come back and you're talking about how Shigaraki was handed the worst deck in life. And I love it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I I I got onto a tangent about like criticisms I have of both My Hero Academia and Attack on Titan. The the main criticism I was commenting on is the bury your gaze trope that not only that, doesn't Book My Hero Academia Hero kind of into. like queer bait? I hate lot. it because most of the villains had no choice. Uh, yeah. Like they, Actually, they were forced into it. They they had no other path they could have gone down. Yeah. But and like it's really garbage. Especially when you have people like Endeavor, who is hailed a hero, but behind like closed doors, he is a douche. Yeah, and then oh god, that gets so compounded by what's gonna come up in the sixth season. Just you wait. Because one of the villains we've seen for a while, oh boy, oh boy, do Who's they have a story to tell? One? Um, but like, I I think it's very, I I love the way that My Hero Academia handles their villains most of the time because mm -hmm. they they show these very real human stories and just compound it with the complexity that comes from superpowers. But the thing that I was caught that that I was getting annoyed with, because I was talking about the um, barrier gaze trope, is the way that he, uh, the mangaka handled Magna. I hate how they did that. Yeah, because Magna like, had a lot that like she could have shown, but she wasn't given the chance. Yeah, like here, here's my hot take. Granted, I don't remember if they did a proper, if they've done a proper arc for him yet. But I would have far preferred if they oft compress in that instant. Was it? Because the thing is, I feel like what the thing with compressed is isn't compressed. Uh, is this spoilers? Y'all, y'all know, right? I think at this point, this this convo is fine with spoilers since Apollo's come back and is clearly. Uh, in DMs directly mentioned that they know up to the story to this point. So, okay, so isn't compressed? Uh, isn't compressed? He is the friend of Aizawa's and uh, Mike's. Like he was Mike's and Aizawa's friend, or is that a different guy? Uh, no, that was that guy. would different guy. Would, okay, never mind. Yeah, that would be Kirigiri. Uh, Kirigiri. Yeah, that Kirigiri was made using that friend's body. Ugh. Yeah, that, that's really fucked up. Like, that's fucked yeah, up, but and, also that's kind of interesting. Yeah, but in, in like talking about Endeavor, like I do like the way that they're trying to do like a redemption arc around Endeavor because like 
like i appreciate endeavor as a character but yeah fuck him like obviously he's meant to be a bad character that is obviously slowly uh trying to make himself better what the fuck did i just what the fuck is this what the fuck is this prompt yeah, is it about me no redemption arc thing i understand that they're giving a bad character his way to be a good character but he's i still feel like he's got like the easy way out like he hasn't faced the consequences for what he did before he's a man of course he's not gonna face the fucking consequences of his actions yeah that's that's the big thing i i hope that they take it in a direction of him like very obviously like properly atoning because i i think i i get the feeling that granted i haven't stayed caught up to the manga yet but like with the uh introduction of the character that's going to be revealed to have a connection to him it creates an environment where he very viscerally has to deal with his past and not only that deal with it while having to work with uh with um why am i forgetting his name all of a sudden half cold half hot his son shoto shoto yeah (laughs) roki How can I? How can I forget Shoto? One of my favorite gags with Endeavor is him just screaming Shoto. Yeah. Isn't the weirdest part is in Japan? It's common for people to usually refer to their kid as the. Is it? Maybe I'm forgetting. Well, no. Wait. Is it formal? Formal. They refer to it as their family's name, and then like familial, familial. There's they refer to it by their like the name their parents gave them. Am I remembering that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So if if you're like. If it's classmates or like acquaintances and like strangers and stuff, then you're referred to by your um your family name. And then if it's like best friends and family, you can be referred to by your first name and then like uh, a uh an an um like a special ending or something. Yeah. I don't remember what it's called. Oh, I like, uh, a suffix. Yeah, or like a honorific. Like that. Yeah, honorific. honorific. Yeah, that's the word. That's why um, it. That's why a lot of times you'll uh like if you were to watch or like read the mangas and stuff, uh, Himiko will often say like she'll say someone's name and then do a pun after it. Yeah. Um, when she's talking to a male figure, um, she does that a lot to Izuku. Yeah. Like, a lot to Izuku. Like, yeah. it's creepy. But the the point I was getting at is, like, in in talking about this, like, it just kind of highlighted how, like, in criticizing Attack on Titan, which is another anime that, like, Attack on Titan's my favorite anime and is probably the one that I have the least criticisms of overall. It still, to some extent, falls into the barrier, the barrier gaze trope, but it does it in, I think, a less egregious manner. Because, generally speaking, when it does bury its gaze, those gaze have made a big impact on the story going forward. Like, the way I said that sounds odd, but the point being, like, when a queer character dies, they have had a full arc that will affect the story until its conclusion. And the main examples I think of are Ymir and Historia with their relationship. Mm -hmm. And arguably, while it's not directly written into the story, I think it's very arguably the case, Sean and Marco. I think that I I yeah. think that given the right beats, Sean and Marco very easily could have ended up as lovers. But oh, when definitely. when Attack on Titan buries its gaze, it's only after those people have made a big impact. Marco yeah. directly affected Sean's path forward in life, right up to the mm-hmm. point of 
Jean relating, fighting against a final antagonist to his commitment to being like Marco. And Historia going forward was permanently affected by her interactions with Ymir. And we just don't see that in a lot, in most other times we see artists bury their gaze. Like with Magna. Like the most that we've seen Magna affect the story after her death was um, the really nice moment of Toga and Twice getting angry at Overhaul for misgendering her. But that's pretty much it. That yeah. That's literally it. Yeah. And it, it was like, kind of like odd, you know? See, mm-hmm. An odd-ish scene. I, I like that scene, but yeah, like in, in terms of like what Magna could have been, mm-hmm. this is there, this is just... We don't like, get a lot out of that. And like, we know that Himiko had a very strong bond with her, you know, being the only two girls in the League of Villains. Um, yeah, and and like they they like had a very strong bond. Like when when Magnet died, like Himiko went berserk. Yeah, and so we know that there is a like a lot of emotion there, but we don't and, hear about her like at all afterwards. Yeah, and Twice obviously has that extra bit of emotional punch because Twice is an extremely honest and good person. Ultimately, as a person, he's just been forced down a really fucked up past thanks to trauma and society fucking him over and failing him and in those moments like a lot of people yeah and in those moments he is very visibly and blatantly affected by magna's death but that doesn't carry over to the rest of the story after after the end of the overhaul arc we pretty much never see anything about magna again and it's just upsetting. Yeah. Uh. Like, my biggest fear as an author, or not author, but writer, hopefully one day our author, uh, hmm. is, for the book I'm writing, is I'm very afraid that it's gonna be very my, uh, bury the gaze, even though I know it's not bury the gaze, because the quote-unquote bury the gaze moment happens in the middle of the book, uh, and it's obviously the fucking middle, so it's not over, uh, and the character that quote unquote dies does not die. But Yeah, I think the big thing is I, I think the big thing is understanding that the reason I, I think the reason why the bury the gaze trope is such a problem is just that so many authors do it to characters when they don't actually uh um when they don't actually have like that many queer characters in their stories, let alone society at large. Mm -hmm. But like, for instance, like for instance, it's less of an issue if it's being written one by a queer person and Mm -hmm. two, it is again, like in the manner of how I think attack on Titan handles buries its bury its gaze. If, if if the people dying have a direct important impact on the course of the story, I think it's acceptable. I may not like it all the time, and it can be done very poorly, hint, hint, Magna again, but if you do it right, it can work. Mm-hmm. And I think I think a part of why it works well in Attack on Titan is also the fact that there's not a whole bunch of straight relationships going on and mo- actually most of the like literally almost every relationship in the story gets broken up eventually because oh. of death because of just the way that the story operates death is an all-consuming thing within the world of attack on titan it happens constantly yeah Also, like to say, I have not watched the last season of Attack on Titan purely because I don't want it to end. Oh, I feel that. But um, the the what I will say is that the last season is easily the best season. Yeah. That I I I remember I I vaguely remember you saying that you haven't watched last season, so I've been trying to avoid some spoilers from that. But it it gets heavy, and I mean 
heavy. Real heavy. Yeah. Okay, did they touch on, like, Mikasa's, like, personal character arc in that at all? Uh, she's got a really big one in the manga. And I... Um, I believe that it, it definitely... Um, at the end of the second part of the final season, they definitely touched on that to a certain extent with her relationship to Eren. But uh, I, I think most of her character arc is to come later, I think. Okay. Because her character arc is basically, if I remember correctly, the final character arc. Because her, her arc is meant to mirror the founder Ymir's uh, relations. And directly affect how the story ends. Yeah. I don't know. I just remember, like, a, a like, screenshot of the manga. And it's just, like, this random Asian lady talking to, like, the main crew that's still alive. Saying that, like, Mikasas were, like, royalty in their country. And it's like, what the f Yeah. That, oh, yeah. That, that does come up. Her... Oh. Uh, those would be the Hizaru, and uh, yeah, they they are like a major player in the final season. All right, time for the uh, cool. the prompts. At the very least, especially hey, you're, you're gonna like... love your you're gonna love the first one of yours, right? <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh yeah, geez. There we go. Three, I... two, all right. One. Let's... This is gonna be funny. Yeah, let's let's do this. Right, ex hatchet fanfiction on watch. the moon. Oh God. <laughs> Why would you? Right, no. <laughs> I should. You know what? I should have been able to guess it. No. <laughs> oh, I got this. Oh wait, no, I didn't. I forgot it was four. Mm -hmm. Go. Uh... Cat boy sells weed. Oh, I got this one. Oh dear God. <laughs> Catboy Momo, god of weed. Yeah, I got a point. <laughs> I, I, I ended up making the cat boy look so demented. <laughs> I, <laughs> I oh, I, I should have given him red eyes. What's wrong with me? <laughs> <laughs> I should have made the whites of his eyes red. Oh my god. Please tell me you saved that one, right? I oh. did. Right, is a bird. <laughs> Bisexual and trans crow bright. Right, that's <laughs> just you. Oh, hey, you dirty. You actually got my amulet correct. Because my oh, yeah, the is child didn't. The child didn't do the amulet correct. Shame on you, child. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, good job, Eterna. <laughs> Yep. And that just means you're a bird then. Fuck you. That's not what it meant. <laughs> I was just saying good Pilot time. Pilot sweating anyway. at the gas station. Oh no. Oh, it's this. Who <laughs> messed it up? Cause... Pink guy at gas station. Dragon. Pink guy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that is a pink guy. <laughs> oh my god. He's not. Pe that's what? not a pink guy. That's a white guy. He has pinch colored yeah. skin. Yes. So he's pink. Uh huh. Pink. Do you not? Yes. Are you colorblind? I win. He's pink. I win. No, you're tied with pink. me. You're tied with me. Oh no! Wait. Look, yeah, oh, no, look in the total. points. God damn it! I I screenshotted it. I screenshotted it. I win. Oh, this has been a very all over the place conversation a stream and i'm speedy we have bounced and from one with the okay. yeah. it's now <laughs> the end <laughs> only because but, uh... jerry left <laughs> mm. but yeah the uh um Let's see, this stream has gone from uh, blind, happy fun to 
talking about problematic media and the problems behind fan bases uh to dumb happy fun again and then to uh me rambling about in-depth analysis of my hero academia and attack on titans uh slipping into a problematic trope i'm tired i'm gonna go to sleep now good night wait you haven't said your final words yeah say your final uh, words uh t- um um cops fucking suck fuck them all uh and if the news station says everything went back to normal it most definitely did not go back to normal goodbye <laughs> Pia says are you kidding me i just got <laughs> <my> <laughs> Hey Pika, you missed us talking about uh, uh about in depth criticisms of uh My Hero Academia and Attack on Titan. Lol. Wait, I sent it to them when they responded. Hatchet made me look like a log of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I did. <laughs> I'm not good at this. Okay, I know what to send Pika, so that's one, two, three. Give me a six. sec. I need to. Let me just send Momo. I apologize. I am not good at this. <laughs> Which joined? Oh, the Pika joined. Hello, Chew. Hi, Chew. Hello, Chew. How have you been over there oh, in hold, hold college? On. I, I can hear you twice. All right. There, there we go. Uh, oh, I you were you something, Pika. <laughs> Holy shit. Wait, hold on. Hold up. Oh, wait, hang on. <laughs> Why is that actually really good? Which one? Uh. Hang on. The one that Dragon Lord did, you actually drew my character well for once. How did that happen? Oh wait, Dragon's not here. Oh, Whoops. Man. Oh yeah, Chu, did you see my mine of yours? Uh one moment. It's the one where you're shocking penguin. Yeah. Yeah, I saw. Yeah, that I I was like I, I wanted to try to make you happy in chat and then it it turned into you shooting lightning out of your ass. The mouse is pleased. Except for that last part. <laughs> I was oh, about to say. We got in the raid. Uh, who are we raiding? Miss Peep. Miss who? Miss Peep. She is cat girl. Uh, how do you spell it? <laughs> I typed it in chat. You don't know how to spell the word. Oh, now I Pete. see it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was saying guy the ray. And <laughs> saw nothing else. Alright. So uh, anyway, before I hit enter, uh, Adurna, last words, go. Bookworm should probably start working on his last words. Oh yeah, Bookworm, also your last words, go. Start working on it. Fantastic God of last um, words. Oh my God. Um, <laughs> let me see. So, um, follow, subscribe. Um, since we were did the like Momo thing, uh, had the Momo thing. Momo is yeah, Momo no is a God. Um, <laughs> Chu is wonderful. She no. is an adorable, cute little bean. No. He shoots lightning out of his ass. Cute little me. low. No. Well, <laughs> well he shoots it out of his tail, but... 
And where's the tail attached to? That's not. That's not where Pikachu produces electricity. Yeah, Pikachu produces it around his, its body, but like. We're, no, we're in their cheeks. We're red those, oh, red mar- cheeks yeah. those red markings are electric sex. That's where they produce hmm. electricity. Electric sex? Sex. Sex. <laughs> <laughs> electric sex. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I suppose you could say that there's a spark in the air. Gosh. Oh my god. I will banish you to the Shadow Realm, personally. Yeah. But anyway. Thank uh, you, Bookworm. Yeah. Uh, Bookworm, last words go, since you already got yours typed up. If you want to hear more of these hyperfixations and special interests, like, subscribe, and follow Bright on all socials. Also, (laughs) give her dollar. (laughs) <laughs> that's amazing bookworm what did he say uh, I feel I, it was long it was on text text to speech and um, oh yeah I know that I don't have the I don't have the memory the is, to most of it. read it back damn it well whatever yeah this is an ND chat you expect us to remember things well normally bright's good about Reiterating it. Hush. <laughs> anyway. Um uh who's next? Uh Apollo. Yeah. Oh, Chu. Oh, I guess Apollo. Chu. Yeah. Last words go. I wasn't here long enough to have any. Um You're here yeah. now. Yeah. It is everyone wish me a happy hatch week. I will not tell you when the actual day is. I'm very sneaky, so everyone shower me with gifts. Wait, what's and also, hatch? Uh, what? hatch week is my way of telling people oh. online, oh, my birthday is this week, right? But you shouldn't give out your birthday because that's important info. So I say that. So that people can't figure out what day it is. Wait, oh, Bookworm, uh, Bookworm retyped everything, Hatchet. If you like hearing about these hyperfixations and special interests, like, subscribe, and follow Bright on all socials. Also, give her a dollar. Ah, uh, I see. Yeah. Thank, thank you, Bookworm. Yeah. But, yeah, sorry, Pika, but, uh, yeah. Is that all you wanted to say? Um, I'll also part bright, I guess, if you're into that. <laughs> but nice. otherwise, praise me. Wow. <laughs> and here, I was thinking it had something to do with me. <laughs> I was very confused. <laughs> anyway, uh, Apollo, last words go. Apollo? Did we lose Apollo again? Did Apollo leave again? Maybe. I don't know. I was in the fucking jacuzzi. I don't know shit. How did you... someone summon Apollo? Wait, were you actually in a jacuzzi? Yes, my bathtub is a whirlpool bath. You lucky son of a bitch. If it makes you feel any better, my new house doesn't have one. Even though we really wanted one. So, there you go. Okay, let's try to summon Apollo back with rage. Uh, 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 the, the way, the way that My Hero Academia handled Magna. Sugar penis. Oh! Why? I could play Hades. (laughs) Oh, there we go. It worked. I, I summoned, I I summoned (laughs) Apollo back with anger. (laughs) Yeah, anyway, uh, Apollo, last words, go. (laughs) It remutes. Uh. (laughs) Holy shit, why is 
every recommended channel on my end for Twitch playing Splatoon 3. Every I'm guess- single one. <laughs> I'm guessing Apollo is having audio issues. Oh no. Uh, there may not be any last words. Uh, I mean, they are interesting last words. Just not being able to speak at all. Uh. I mean, we do have text-to-speech thing. And it's free. Yeah, Apollo, try try leaving and rejoining. If you're having audio issues. Yeah. Hello. Nope, still not hearing anything. Fuck. We have text to speech on Twitch if you can't speak. Hello. Hey. Oh, oh there we are. <laughs> Quick before you get deleted. Uh, what's your final words? Goodbye. <laughs> That's it. That's it. <laughs> All that, all that build up we're just <laughs> goodbye goodbye that was amazing that was great the best best word says bookworm oh but i guess uh hatchet last words go all right and remember kids Yeah. Hatchet? My train of thought just died. <laughs> start over, start over. Hatchet, uh, last words go. And remember, kids, if you're sitting in your room and you're really depressed, you no, know, you're you're looking you're looking through all the doomer things. No. You know, if you're thinking about sad things, just remember. Fuck you. Mm-hmm. What the fuck? Yeah. Also, yeah. Uh, also, uh, hello, D class. Uh, starting Monday, hopefully, because they they still have the, the artist still has to set everything up perfectly, so it's good and nice. Uh, that I have my new alerts, new overlays, everything new for streaming. Hopefully it'll be all up ready Monday. But no promises. Fuck. Uh, and we've got, what was it, Among Us slash uh, uh, Cards Against Humanity stream on Monday? Yeah, to, like, celebrate it. Hopefully it's done by then. Yeah, but, um... Uh, we're also going to be raiding this uh, person I don't know, Miss Peep. Uh, let's go. She is a leftist what? cat VTuber. What are so we everyone saying? Everyone be nice. Uh, um, I don't know. Cancel bright. So, just <laughs> actually, no. I want credit. Say that I brought you here. Uh, Chu brought us here. That's what we will say. Yay! Credit. Straight in three. Two. We one. can do that too, bookworm. <laughs>